Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. We are going to get started here in just a second. Uh, we are going to be playing some Polya today. I was just doing some last minute like sound adjustments and things like that um, and getting the game up and running. So trying to get it started before we actually get started, you know, because I don't really want it to be just, hey, I'm working on logging in and da da da. So we're, we're trying to get that set up before Oh, and my headphones have it really loud, so I don't know how loud it is for you all, because I know sometimes it'll pop up even when um, I'm not active on that screen, and then other times it won't play the music unless I'm active on that screen. So I don't know what you all are hearing right now. Let's go back to this so I can actually switch over to our streaming screen, and you can see everything, which is the important part. All right, looking for game to capture. Come on, capture Polya, please. Any day now. There it goes. All right. So we will be playing Polya this morning. Um, there are Halloween things in the game that I could not find last time we played. We were working on our romance of Hodari, which is the newest romanceable character, um, in that he is new to being able to be romanced and not new to the game, if that makes sense. Um, so they did adjust it to where you can try to romance the... Uh, mining teacher uh aka mining daddy so we're gonna sorry i was moving my my thing i have for my chat we're gonna try to keep hitting on him while also hitting on reth and everybody else that we're gonna eventually romance um befriending everybody trying to get ashura up to level four so he can be our actual father you know that kind of thing it is stream time you are correct I have almost no crops grown because, well, we never finished our crops. We did finish these. That's cool. Um, you guys can have another sweet leaf. I don't actually know what to feed them, if I'm honest. Ooh, it's 3 a.m. If we hurry, we'll catch it before the, the turnover time, and we'll be able to actually get an extra growth day. That'd be cool. Need to get this going and this going. I wonder why it's not picking that one up. Hmm. Oh well. We had some weeds grow. That's not good. Go away, weeds. It looks like we are low on water. Let's go pick some up. We also need to Im not improve, uh, repair our watering can. It looks like it's a little low. Now, I don't think we're going to make the actual, like, planting cutoff, um by getting stuff in the ground before 6 a.m., but I'm going to try. So I'm going to try to get all this watered first because this is already planted. So we'll start with it. We'll get our chilies watered. Then we will plant everything that should be grown in our seed maker. Nice. Sorry, seed hopper. No, it's seed maker. I can call it seed maker. All right. It's almost 4 a.m. And our hoe also needs to be repaired. Oh. Interesting. I like the little, um, magic green lights. Not sure what those are about. I don't know if that's just polya magic or if that's the spirits of the garden trying to help grow our stuff. <laughs> no clue. Um, but yeah, so there is Halloween stuff that's available. Apparently there's a special shop for it, and I somehow missed that. I had to look it up because when we were looking for it on the last stream, we just weren't able to find anything. And I want some Halloween stuff. Oh no! Our hoe downgraded. So that's what happens when you don't repair your stuff in time. Uh, it will downgrade your equipment. Which, for this, is fine because we're really just gonna go right back over the spots that we were working on anyway. Uh, but we will upgrade it at the bench in just a second. Because um, you can just re-upgrade and be fine. So let's try to get our... Wait, what did I have planted where? Oh, this is the row of cotton. Okay. So I need number six, which is our cotton. Ooh. Please. And then I also need it on this row. Because we're doing every other row with cotton and every other row with wheat. Because the way that the bonuses work, we have to alternate them. I wish we could just put them next to each other. That would make it so much easier. And I could just grow a whole field of one crop. But 
Yes, yes, there's already seed plants too. I know. I was trying to go quickly. Alright, let's get all these water. We're trying to get them watered quickly. Um, I can see that our our poor watering can is quickly losing its life and will soon downgrade. It'll probably downgrade before we finish. Hey, we got lucky and it didn't. Okay, not bad, not bad. Go ahead and harvest these real quick and then water this one and... Oh, still hasn't downgraded. Okay, so we have an opportunity to go ahead and upgrade it or go ahead and repair it before it actually fully downgrades. As for our poor, poor tool, um, if I could remember how to... Oh, it's this one. If I could remember how to upgrade the, the hoe. Okay. We got the fine one. Re-upgrade. No worries. And then we needed... Our watering can ended up okay. Thankfully, we didn't end up downgrading by accident. But might be a good idea to keep an eye on it. Were we making anything last time? I don't think we were. The other thing that I'm hoping to do before the end of the stream uh, is to purchase a, another hallway section. Uh, what I'm planning to do is actually build off this hallway section if it'll let me, and if not, then I'll put it in the back of this room so that we can build something here. Or, alternatively, we will get a hallway section um, or just simply a doorway so that we can add a bathroom to our room. So those are our two goals for stream, is to find the Halloween stuff and to expand our bedroom and or this hallway. So if we can expand the hallway, we'll use the hallway as our way to get to the bathroom. And if we can't, then we'll just add it directly to the room. Either way, we need to afford a hallway section. I think those are usually 5,000. So that's not too bad, but all right, so it looks like some of this is harvestable. Oops, didn't mean to do that yet. Um, now this one's no longer getting a harvest boost. Ooh, that's not good. I definitely meant for it to. Let's see if we can plant something before the uh, mining gods, or the, the plant gods, decide we are not good enough. All right, let's get... Uh, boost quality, prevents weeds, uh, boost amount. Perfect. No, let me out, let me out. If I debate it for too long, we'll uh, miss the cutoff. So. <laughs> oh, nope, need to dig in this spot right here. That's where we had it planted. I was like, why does it look weird? There we go, and then water. Just go on and break my watering can, why don't you? Also, this is growing without any sort of boost, which bothers me a little bit, but it'll be... Uh, hello? Normally, you have to push and hold G for all that to pop up, so when we had let it go and it was still looking at us, that was a little odd. All right, toss those in here. Uh, that's our one catfish that's um, still... Alive, I guess. But let's drop these off real quick. Um, no, because I only want 20. So my goal is to have 20 of each of the high quality stuff. Um, I do need some low quality stuff too, but mostly the goal is for high quality stuff. Okay. So now we wait, because it's going to roll over at 6 a.m., which gives me time to take a sip of my coffee. Now I do have some cinnamon rolls in the so Polya, are you also gonna play other games too? Um, we're gonna see how much we can get done in Polya first. Uh, we might take a break between this game and a new game. Um, well, not new, new, but in a secondary game. Um, but we might just stick with Polya today. I do have some stuff that kind of got sprung on me that I got to take care of today. So you heard cinnamon rolls? Yes, I hadn't finished that statement. Um, so. I got some stuff that got sprung on me last minute, uh, and I want to take care of that as quickly as possible today. So we may not have a super long stream, unlike last night where we went for like four hours. <laughs> so come on, watering can. Become upset. Ooh. 
we got our uh, weekly done. That's pretty cool. Item downgraded. There we go. Okay. Now we can re-upgrade it. Anyway, yeah, I will take a short break here soon because I do have cinnamon rolls in the oven, um, which is a little bit of why we got started a couple minutes late today because I was still working on that. Um, they are not homemade. They are just from a store and you just pop them in the oven. Uh, but I did not realize that even store-bought ones take almost 30 minutes to make. So. But I need the sugar boost. And I need the sweet cinnamony goodness in my life. Cinnamon rolls are probably my one exception to um, not being a huge fan of cinnamon. Um, I guess technically pumpkin spice has cinnamon in it. So that, that kind of doesn't count. But surprisingly, I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon. Uh, I do like cinnamon more than I like caramel, which, as a baker, is like a whole weird sentence to say. Uh, not that I prefer to make stuff with cinnamon versus stuff with caramel. No, I prefer to eat stuff with cinnamon. I have no problems making caramel. You hope I enjoy them? Thank you. They will be good, and I will probably eat one on stream because I want to get back to you all very quickly. Right, we'll weed that real quick, and then we'll water everything. And hopefully soon we will have blueberries that we can harvest. Because so far we don't. Ooh, we finally have a tree! That's so cool! Look at this tree! Oh, look at it! It's cute! It's a little apple tree! I hope that they add uh, more, like fruit tree type things, or tree fruit type things, um, but we'll see. We'll see if they, uh, if they do that. We gotta leave this stuff that's harvestable so that it still gets the boost on each item. Alright, everything is watered, everything is great. 7am, we can run into town. And we should be able to find Hodari with, uh, within a little bit, so. I think when we get to the 30 minute mark is when I'll stop because my timer should be going off around then so i've got my coffee which i watered it down a little bit by accident <laughs> but that's okay i think my coffee maker's on the fritz um it got a lot of steam in the display area which is weird so I don't know if it's broken or what's going on with that. Also, Tish has the question mark. Um, she is offering to be our chef, is what that is. So we're gonna have to avoid her because we don't wanna. I don't wanna make that happen yet. Um, I thought I had unchecked the find your chef quest, but since we only have three quests to do, it keeps popping itself back up. So we want Ashra to be our chef, which is why we're not taking her up on that offer. Let's chat. I've heard aquariums are becoming increasingly popular home decor items. A small one would make a pleasant addition to the library, if only I had the time to properly maintain it. You know, nothing pairs with a good book like a cup of tea. If you could bring me some spice sprouts, I would be very grateful. Ooh. I have spice sprouts in our pocket. In fact, I have high quality ones, so we can instantly give her what she's looking for. That's my favorite thing. When they ask for something I already have, that's like, oh, look, I can give it to you right now. Many thanks. I think I shall pair this tea with a volume chronicling the artwork of the Fenske family. Stay out of the forbidden section. Stay out of the forbidden section. But I want to go in the forbidden section. That's why I'm trying to befriend you, Kaleri. Really, I'm just trying to befriend everybody. Um, because like I said, there is... Or I guess I didn't say it on this stream. But I did say it on a previous one. Uh, there is a recipe that you can only get once you get level... You get Anar to level uh, 3 in friendship, so... We are trying to get level 3 with everybody, just in case they're also hiding recipes. As a magistrate, it's my job to oversee all permits, legislation, laws, bylaws, and ordinances. I also maintain order by making sure those laws are properly enforced. Better to ask what I don't do if you want a brief answer. I could really use some leather for a new custom pair of riding boots. Unfortunately, I do so dread dealing with Halcyon. Could you perhaps procure some quality leather for me? Oh, speak to me again. 
We probably can. Uh, I don't have any on me, but we definitely can. All right, let's see what our hallway would take. Oh, only 31. Okay. I thought it was 5,000. It's only 3,000. And then each one is another 100. So that's not too bad. Uh, but I don't know where this, like, mysterious extra shop is. I don't think it's in the area where the Magi Market took place. I think it's probably somewhere in town. But I have yet to find it. Oh, my mouse is doing that thing again. Um, let's see if we can... Nope, okay. So sometimes the mouse becomes, um, like, a little fixed. I don't know how it happens or why it happens, but we can't just turn our character. Um, and I don't remember how to fix it. Uh, I think it's under control settings. Nope, none of that is what I'm looking for. What if I tap out? Will that fix it? Nope, that did not, in fact, fix it. Okay, so we're just going to be running blind, which is okay, because I kind of know the layout of things. So, it'll be easy enough. Chat with Ashra. Excuse me if I seem short of breath. Just getting my morning exercise. The healer says it's important to get the blood flowing to my knee. When I go out fishing, I'm always hoping for a rainbow trout. A good old-fashioned trout dinner is one of my favorite meals. Great. Alright, talking to him fixed it. Perfect. One, we need to talk to him anyway. But two, I was kind of hoping it would fix things. And this may break it, so, you know. Alright, let's go see Anar, just to kind of get his friendship for the day done. So you can chat with everybody multiple times in a real world day, but you can only gift them once per real life day. Which, kind of frustrating, but I guess it keeps you from just maxing out their friendship in the first day of play. So. Today is one of those where I find myself missing my grandmother. Of everyone in our five-generation household, she was the one I was closest to. Five generations? That's a lot. She was a wonderful leader and a terrific chef. Her homemade dumplings were my favorite. I ate so many of them as a boy that everyone started calling me Little Dumpling. I mean, I get it. I've been so swamped with paperwork lately, I forgot to eat. Do you think you could bring me some ramen? I think we probably could. Not that we're going to right this second, but we probably could make him some and bring it to him. And there's Tish being Tish. She's going to offer to be our chef. We have to ignore her. I have so much to tell you. Life in the valley is peaceful, isn't it? Chat with Tish. Every time I see you, my worries just melt away like butter on a frying pan. Breath, is that you? <laughs> Can you tell I've been hanging out with him lately? That's your brother. If I'm not careful, his habits are going to start rubbing off on me, too. Then we'll have two wreaths. One is more than enough. I mean, I agree. I would never be able to handle it. I like to plant a new tree for every piece of furniture I make. If you come across any juniper seeds, could you bring me some? Oh. She says stuff like that all the time. It's always very, like, sweet and bubbly and positive. So, I like her a lot as a character. Um, but she wasn't my first romanceable, like, choice. I wasn't like, oh yeah, Tish. That was never a thing for me. Uh, I find that even the briefest of conversations with you brings me closer to the oneness. Oh. Okay. We're not romancing you, but okay. Your passionate nature makes you makes me suspect you identify with the element of fire. Burn brightly, little ember. But do not burn out. That is good advice. I could make use of some worms if you have any to spare on your person. Uh, I don't, actually, weirdly enough. What do you sell? Uh, the Fisherman's Brew, which I think we needed for something, but I think we had to make it. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember what we needed the brew for. But, oh my goodness, hi, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, welcome in. Let me tab out for just a second so I can actually see all of your bright, shining faces. How are you today? It is, in fact, a dream raid on everything. Let me see if I can get my thing to populate. Thank you, thank you so much. What were you playing? Were you playing something that I know, or were you playing something that I don't know? Um, It doesn't look like my bot is working, so I can't get it to tell me what you're playing. What were you playing? Hi, welcome in, welcome in. 
Hi, Kuplian or Kuplian? Kuplian? Not sure. Uh, hi, Hema. Hi, Daydreamer. How are you? How are you, Suze? Welcome in. Welcome in. You're playing Animal Crossing, DDLV, and then my time in Porsche. Wow, you had a jam-packed evening, didn't you? I know it's daytime for me, which means it must be night for you. That sounds like a lot. Were you, like, decorating? Were you just kind of running around? So glad to see you. Doing all the Halloween stuff? I already delivered your mail, but if you want to chat, I'm all ears. Oh no, my mouse seems to have disappeared. I love when Zeki has new things in his shop. Once he had a toy bird that could really fly. Uh, neat? Oh dear. The game decided I can't do anything. Eleven and a half hour stream? Nice! You had time. Why were you streaming for so long? Uh, I think we're stuck talking to Aoni, which is a problem. Um, let's see if we can tab back out and if that will fix it. Nope, my mouse is still missing. Okay, so it is in beta, so this kind of stuff still happens. Well, thank you very much. I don't know why my uh, panel's not on top of everything, so I don't know why that didn't show above the game. Um, let me see if I can get it to actually behave. There we go. He freed us by running away. There, now we can run around. Oh, Yo, you always stream long on Sundays. It's the order in OBS. I think so. I think the the stacking order hadn't been updated since I last updated the, the uh, template and the OI or the UI and stuff. Sam Tucker, look at that cool outfit. And they match their little fox too. Oh man. This game is gonna have a lot of really cool premium outfits. Um there was one that they introduced. that looks different. His shop looks different. I don't remember him having those. Also, the doorway, doorway looks more narrow. What inspired The stacking order, yes. To what do I owe the pleasure of your company? Inspiration can come at any moment. Best to be working when it finds you. Hmm, interesting. Tish and I like to get together in the evenings and sew together. The dear girl is always running on, low on silk thread and borrowing mine. You're excited for when the Switch port comes out? For this one, yeah. So I think it's actually supposed to be releasing sometime this year. Like, there's no confirmed date, but possibly. Also, the full release of DDLV is coming, which means that multiplayer will be a thing. That'll be fun. I haven't played it on stream in a while, but I have been playing it in private. Uh, Dreamlight Valley, that is. So, hopefully I'll start playing it on stream again. <laughs> Holiday 2023. Nice. That would be good. Of course, it is Tish, so I don't mind. What are bosom friends for? I hope we cry. So Jell and Tish are like best buddies, but apparently you can romance both of them. All right, premium store time, because I want to see what they added. Ooh, they added vampire looking stuff. Oh no, my wallet. Look at this dashing debonair outfit. And of course, each one of them comes with three variations, so... Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And then the count. No. That would be my one. Oh, it's got a little waist cincher. I'm still down to buy this one, though. You don't like the pants? I really want this one because you get the little, little pixies that fly around you. And I cannot stand not having that. Um, but they have all sorts. Like, they've got the little... Little folk flowers, which has the little basket on your back and the little flower crown. They've got just the everyday flair. They have so many already. The fairy is cool. I know, right? They have so many already that I'm just like, ah, oh, that's going to take all my money. And then that person that we saw with the little tiny fox was wearing this thing, uh, which is also really cool and gives you body tattoos. And I like it a lot. <laughs> Ugh. Like, look at that. Look at how cool that looks. I like it a lot. Okay, I gotta stop looking at premium stuff or I'm gonna just whip out my credit card and all will be crazy. Okay, gotta stop looking at that. Honestly, I really love this game and every time I start playing it, I get distracted so easy because there's so much to look at. Wait, wait, what? Do you need me to go back? I can go back. 
reindeer onesies. Oh, um, I think they're Surinugs. They're definitely, uh, what you call it? Um, where did they go? Oh, I've already lost them. I'm sorry. There they are. So they're not reindeers. Uh, they're choppas, which are the little creatures in the game. Uh, that, one of the two creatures in the game that you can hunt. Um, but, you know, it does kind of look like a woodland creature. You can have the plaid one or the little stripes one. That one's kind of cute. I think my favorite's probably this one. I like that one the most, I think. They're very, very cute. Um, I don't think you can mix and match, though, because it would be really cool to have this and put the antlers on it. You can mix and match some things. Um, like, we can mix and match these tops and bottoms. Um, but, of course, if you don't own the set, you can't use them. Blah, blah, blah. That kind of thing. And then, of course, your original stuff comes with so many different color options. So... It's not bad. What are they doing? Oh yeah, I was looking for our, our boyfriend, Reth. I say boyfriend specifically because we are wearing his romance pin. And you can have as many romances as you want, but you can only wear two pins at a time. There are some characters that'll comment about you wearing other people's pins, but for the most part, it seems like um, polyamory is fully okay in Majiria society. You can have as many boyfriends and girlfriends as you like. <sighs> Whenever I see Aoni out catching bugs, can't help but think what they would taste like. I bet fire-breathing dragon soup would be spicy, and Bahari bee cake might be sweet. Hmm, maybe a stink bug soup? Let's not do that. What? Insects are a great source of protein. I don't care. Don't make me soup out of bugs, please. I knew you'd be back. I'm irresistible. I know. And if I'm wrong, just let me have this one, okay? We all have our coping strategies. Look, you didn't hear this from me, but Zeki really likes grilled fish. Have a lovely stream. Get some rest. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping in. Always great to see you. Make sure you get plenty of rest, because 11 hours is a long time to stream. Maybe it's a Grimalkin thing. Oh yeah, because he's a cat man. You all I won't ask you to be my chef. We can't do that. Hmm. There's some stuff here. Hmm. I still don't see anything new, so I'm not sure where exactly this Halloween stuff is supposed to come from. Maybe there's like a shop somewhere? Because it's not on the map. There's nothing on the map that indicates that we would be able to find some kind of new shop. So I'm kind of curious, because it's usually one of those things where you find it pretty easily. Hmm. Here's the library again. We've been in there, so we know it's not in there. I'm just kind of wandering the outside of the area just to see. All right, that's Zeki's house. Some decorations over here. Cool. We like decorations. Oh! That chopper just dug its way into the stone. Okay, good job, buddy. Hmm. I don't remember that cart, but it could have been here already. I like the gazebos. Um, hello! Welcome in, welcome in. How are you? I was about to pop over and go grab my cinnamon rolls, um, but I may explore just a little bit more. <laughs> I'm good, thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna explore just a little bit more before I go grab my cinnamon rolls. Ooh, the underground. I wonder if the Halloween stuff is in the underground. It's specifically the after hours one. Because we can't seem to find it anywhere in here. You doing anything fun this morning? You just waking up? How are you? I need to know. Hmm. It's odd that we can't find wherever this Halloween stuff is supposed to be. Because this is this. Halloween shop is right by where I was with all the pumpkins. By the fountain? 
Or do you mean like in here somewhere? There's a register there. Okay, I didn't see one. Where the gazebo was, or... Oh, hi, Badger. We'll talk to him real quick. Let us talk all things farming. Wow. Potatoes are the worst crop to harvest. They're so low to the ground, they really throw out my back. That wasn't a joke. Man, farm work would be a lot easier if I could get our old cart working. Unfortunately, it's missing a wheel. I mean, I could still use it, but I don't think dragging a broken cart would make things easier. By the gazebo. Okay. Let's go back to the gazebo, then. I'm so glad that they fixed the, um, the targeting system. Because, oh boy. Alright. Register. No register. There's a mailbox. Oh, there's a register on the display. Oh, okay. Oh, look at all this stuff! A pumpkin wallpaper, a spooky floating candle. Oh, man. I'm probably gonna need multiple spooky candles. Oh, we only have $4,000. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to make more money to buy more stuff. And I have way too much renown. I need to spend that. Alright, let's go ahead and buy from the bottom up, basically. Oh, thank you! Spooky vines, spooky heirloom. We can't buy the stack yet, but we'll come back for it. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I wanted the jack-o'-lanterns. Okay. So we need the two jack-o'-lanterns, and we need the spooky stack. So that's gonna be... about six or seven grand? I can't math very fast, so we're just gonna have to, you know, rely on that. I wonder if it'll keep my pin there even if I don't... Uh-oh, it looks like it stuck my mouse again. Okay. We'll just teleport. I was gonna just run back home, but with it sticking the mouse in place, we're just gonna teleport. We also need to go find Hodari and hit on him again. And see if he'll be more of our friend so that we can actually hit on him. Alright, so this stuff has, yeah, about 9, 10, 12 in-game hours. No problem. Let's see. Hmm. Do we put our pumpkin stuff in the kitchen, or do we decorate our living room with it? Hmm. Speaking of gazebos, they sell a gazebo at the, the magistrate's office, and I really want to put it on our plot. If we make more fencing... We could make our area more fenced in, but I'm thinking maybe have like a gate or an opening or something and then have the gazebo out back. So that'd be really cool. But I think you need some kind of housing permit and about 10 grand to be able to build that. So it's a little ways off for us, but it's not an impossible ask. Since we have stuff growing, I'm actually going to grab our seed stuff. So we can make more seeds before next time. Uh, crops, crops, crops. Mm. Let's see, I've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. That'll give us the 18. And then I've got 8 seeds here, which is going to be, I think it's 4 for each of those. So 12, 16, 20, 24. Maybe I should go to 24. 7, 7, 12 is 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. So that'll get us to where we need to be to have 24 of each one. Sorry. I know I was doing quick math on the screen. Um, I don't normally. <laughs> which is why it wasn't very good. Alright, so we if we get those going, then we will be able to just sell what we have, and then... Oh wait, I think I can just pop it in here. Oh, I can! Nice! We can sell what we have, that way we have enough to grow the next batch, plus sell all the extras. So, it'll be nice. Let's go ahead and dump all of this in here. That gives us two grand instantly. Um, I am going to sell some of the tomatoes, actually. We'll just keep 15. 15 is a pretty good amount. So that puts us at three grand already, which is half of what we need. Or at least a minimum of half of what we need. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to redo the living room. 
Oh, we found the Halloween stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it quite a lot. Um, I am a person who pretty much relies on Backstreet Gaming half the time. Or Backstreet? No, Backseat Gaming. Because I don't know what I'm doing at any given moment. So please feel free to chime in at any point and help me out. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, oh, no. What is the... Oh, it's control. Why do I keep hitting C instead of control? This is clearly why I need to go grab my cinnamon rolls. Uh, I can hear the timer. We're going to take a very, very brief break. I'm going to put us on the Be Right Back screen. I'm going to mute the mic. And then when I come back, I will hopefully only take about a minute or so to go get them out the oven, get the icing on them, and we'll be back with cinnamon rolls. Oops, wrong one. And we're back. And I have cinnamon rolls. I only grabbed two, and I am going to be eating them on stream. Uh, I will try to keep the mouth noises to a minimum. But if you don't like watching people eat, no problem. Just fully understand. Um, and if you need to raid and run, don't feel bad. I know that I didn't say it earlier, but you should always prioritize your health over watching somebody stream. I burnt them a little bit. My bad. Just like a couple of spots. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. I will be trying to keep the um, talking with my mouth full to a minimum, too. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Let's get some of this furniture moved around. All right, we no longer need this. So I guess I'll just put it away. Uh, we'll just pick that up. Uh, pick, pick that up, thank you. I need to redo this furniture and use probably the uh, customizer to change the colors on there, but we'll see. We'll just leave that for now. We'll use this whole space right over here to preferably move stuff around. Um, I am gonna get rid of our dining room table. I'm gonna put the flowers in here. No, maybe we should put the pumpkin in here. Now nah, we'll put the flowers in here, and the or the fruit bowl, rather. There we go, now we've got a table. Ooh, our money. Oops, I don't need the screen, I need this. Full serving dish, and then I needed... Where did that other thing I had on the table go? 
I wish I could put food on the table. That would be cool. But the game doesn't seem to want to let me put food on the table. Um, oh, there's the flowers. And boom. There we go. Uh, this needs to move. That's what I needed. That needs to come out. Not that we have enough light now, but it'll be okay. Alright, so this is our living room. It's very small. I need it to be bigger, which is why we were moving all that stuff. Uh, why can't I grab this chair? I can't grab this chair for some reason. I can put stuff on it, but I can't grab it. Hello? <laughs> Why was there a... Why can't I grab the chair? What is happening? Neither of the chairs can be moved, apparently. Okay, I can't even... Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I can't even pick that one up. But I can. It just was taking a second. Alright, number two. And then we can put it where it needs to be. Cinnamon rolls! Heck yeah! It's cinnamon roll time. And we'll put that there. Here's a plant that can just go in the corner, I guess, for now. That's fine. Oh, the grid kind of throws me off a little bit, so I'm trying to trying to work around that. No, come on. Let me move the... Let me move this, please. How on top of this thing do I have to be? My goodness. There it goes. Now it'll let me move it. But I have to be, like, right on top of the chair for it to move, let me move the chair. So that's a little odd. Our chop-a-butt rug. Alright, and then number eight. We'll probably take these to the customization station at some point. Um, but what I was trying to do is make the room look a little bigger. And I don't think I succeeded. Just move this a little bit more. Okay, the furniture's not as closed in. That's good, that's good. Uh, we will add things like the pumpkins. Put a pumpkin on the, the tape. No, we'll put a pumpkin on the stool. That's good. Yeah. And what's this pumpkin? Oh, it's much bigger. Okay, maybe we should put it outside. No, we'll put it in here. Oh, it doesn't fit. Darn. Um, oh, maybe it does fit. Oh, that looks like it's going to fall on your head. <laughs> hey, look, it's our Wally plant. Uh, let's see. Number three is the floating candles. Oh, okay. So it floats at about the height that we're at. Um, can I put it just anywhere? No. I was kind of thinking we could put them up higher, but I guess not. They just sort of float. Which is fine. Uh, that's fine. And then number four is actual candles, which should have been put up there, but yeah, it's fine. It's clean. Uh, I need to make, like, end tables or something, I think. We're not going to stick with the log cabin furniture. We are going to upgrade eventually. So this stuff will be, you know, put wherever. Eh, we'll put it there. Oh, they're lit. I didn't want them to be on. Okay. <laughs> We were going to burn the plant for a second. Uh, let's see. We've got number seven, which is a nice viney boy. Put him by the front door. Very nice. Uh, we've got our wallpaper. Which... Nice. I'm going to decorate the whole cabin. Oh, I like that. I actually do like that. I do like the, the green furniture with that. More than I thought I would. I don't know what to do about the floor, but it'll be okay. Um, let's see, let's see. If we could make like a Christmas tree, but for pumpkins, that'd be cool. All right, we got our three grand, which means we can go buy some more stuff. Like the giant stack of pumpkins. Actually, I don't know if we have enough for that. Cinnamon roll. Yum.
Yes, I am playing one-handed. Why do you ask? It's very obvious when I play one-handed. We don't go very very far. I run into things. We Nevelyn. Hmm. Like Evelyn, but Nevelyn. I like that. Oh, hi, Hecla. Hello, human. <laughs> she said hello back. Chat with Hecla. I have not yet beaten Anar at cards, but I can be patient. He has hundreds of thousands of years to practice, and I've only been awake for two years. Now, oh, he's had. Now, back to my Gina. She's very devoted to Gina. That's probably why she's not romanceable. Oh, wait, it's back here. Oh, no. Ah, okay. We'll just pop in here, buy our one little thing. Oh, yeah, Anar said he wanted a worm. So we'll buy a worm. We'll give it to Anar in just a minute. But first, back to Pumpkin Land. Okay, I shouldn't call it that. All right. Oh, we're just a little bit short. No. We need literally just 150 more gold. Darn. I don't think we have anything that's worth that, but let's do our best. I'm gonna probably sell a couple things at Zeki's and maybe it'll work. We can sell one of these. Uh, and both of these. Oh, we gotta sell both. That's fine. Uh, cool! Now we have the amount of money we need. That's so sad. I can't believe we were just a little bit short. That's okay. We made our money, now we can buy our stuff. Spooky pumpkin stuff. Excellent. All right, so we still need the two jack-o'-lanterns, uh, which means that we'll need, need to make a lot more money real fast. <laughs> Not that that's a problem, it's just another task. But hey, it gives us a goal for the stream. Instead of my generic ones. Oh no, we lost our mouse again. Hi, Kenyatta. Are you insisting on standing there staring at me, or did you have something to say? Don't tell Kaleri, but I snuck a true crime mag into the pages of my History of the Polly and Grand Council book. I won't. Dragonflies are so cool. I'd love to see a fire-breathing one up close if I could. I'd catch one on my own, if my mom gave me a second to myself. Never. Her mom is very controlling, but at the same time, like, she tells you things like, oh... There's apparently a killer on the loose in Bahari City, and they're after people who look exactly like me. My build and hairstyle and all of that. And it's like, oh, that's why you can't be by yourself. Because you're a lady of high status and would either get killed or kidnapped. So yeah, can't be doing that. Also, I did overcook them just a little bit, which is very sad to me. Um, I really like soft cinnamon rolls, so I should have probably baked them about a minute or so less. Mm. Maybe two minutes or so less. Yum, yum, yum. It's hard to talk to you all when my mouth is full. But I love cinnamon rolls so much. Oh, I thought it was bigger. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can fix that. Got a little vined pumpkin. Um, I'm gonna grab him off the shelf just to kind of add to the stack. And then, um, well, I guess he can stay where he was. And then we'll put the jack o' lanterns outside. Now, if we already had the gazebo up, we'd probably do something with that, but. 
No, we need them to be faced like that. Nice. Little pumpkin stack. Hmm. Does the... Oh, I want to pick up the stool. Does the stool show that it's behind them? Probably. The stool's probably just tall enough that it's going to show. Because my goal was to try to make it like an illusion that the stool was not there. But... I can't put it on anything. I need it to be just a little bit taller. But I don't have anything to put it on. I mean, if we kneel, you can't really see it. But... Maybe if I... Make this one closer... Yeah. It's okay. It's not the perfect stack. Um, I'm a little surprised that it's not, like, taller. I kind of thought that the pumpkin stack was going to be a little taller. So, but that's okay. We can work with it. We still have enough that we can, uh, we can probably build a stack. We'll probably end up moving it outside, honestly, and putting it here. And then setting our, our jack-o'-lanterns up. Um... We should probably put our jack-o'-lanterns on stools as well. So I don't remember if we actually have some or not. Let's check our furniture real quick. I have chairs. I could put them on chairs. Oh, I have a chair, but... Mm. I have a round-in table. That's not what I'm looking for. The nightstand. Not really. Hmm... We'll just make a couple more of the stools, and we'll put them on stools outside, I think. So, that'll be okay. Alright, let's see. Let's see. I know, I know, I need to make stuff. Log cabin. Do, 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 do. Here's our stool. I need two of them. Bam. Oh! Apparently we were still working on that challenge i didn't realize nice we need to make three uncommon and one rare piece of furniture for our accomplishments but there's not really anything we wanted to buy from tish so i'm not really sure what we're gonna do about that uh what did i need for the bellflower stuff while i'm here um i think that's is that stone oh it's stone bricks oh how about that um we can make this bed we could upgrade our bed. We'll see. Um, more stone bricks. Stone bricks. Okay, so that's 10, 10, and 25. Wow, that's a lot of stone. Okay. Um, I guess make all this stone. I'm gonna need even more stone, so we'll have to go mine some, but... Okay. Since we're waiting for our crops to grow to make money... We're going to go uh, work on getting some stone together because I think all of our romanceable characters are asleep. Or at least all the ones we're working on are asleep. Reth is still awake. Yum. Oh no, the T-Pose of Doom! Phew, we escaped. Yum, yum, yum. Yes, I did just bite into the middle of the sun and roll instead of continuing the spiral. I couldn't take it any longer. I had to get to the soft little center. It was a requirement. Alright, let's see. Can't buy any of that stuff yet. Who's still awake? It says Reth is asleep, but he shouldn't be. Uh, Delayla and Ashura are awake. Oh, looks like Aenor is awake. Cool. We can go give him a, fi a worm. Like he asked for. Unless he goes to sleep before we get there. We do have a good 250 meters to travel. At least I assume that means meters. Because miles would be MI. Uh, so I assume that means meters, which... That's a long, lot, lot of distance we gotta go. Just for love. We're not even trying to love the robot, we're just trying to befriend him. Hi, Anar. Are you leaving? Please don't leave. How funny would it have been if we got there and he disappeared? Chat. 
Aoni asked me if I'd ever considered leaving the village today. Honestly, the thought had never occurred to me. I've been here for 3,928 years. Why change things now? Been looking for a particularly energetic vampire crab. Let me know if you spot one. Nope, 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 nope. You can't leave. I have to give you a worm that you asked for. Many thanks for the fish nutrients. I shall use this to lure in many beautiful gills. Uh, goodbye then. What is our relationship status with him? Like, how... How high are we with him? I missed. I missed. Oh no. Mm, that's not too bad, but it's still quite a bit. So. And then I think Ashura is awake for at least one more in-game hour. So we'll be able to catch him at the inn. Um, I thought we had already talked to him today, but it says that we still have a discussion with him. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Ready to talk to Kenyatta today. Maybe we technically talked to him yesterday. But I thought it was today. I thought we had talked to him this morning and he said something about his morning routine. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it didn't count. Who knows? How they treating you? Hey friend. Oh, no. Chat. We could be playing a game. We could play a game of cards if you want. I'm not very good at it though. Hodari used to beat me 9 out of 10 times. Oh. I think that's why Aoni likes challenging me so much. We're at the, about the same skill level. Wow. <laughs> Poor Ashura. Oh, hey, Delayla. Why aren't you at home? Happy you returned. I missed our chats. Badger told me you were the one who encouraged him to sing for me. Thank you. He has such a beautiful voice, I almost forgot how much I missed hearing him use it. Try as I might, I can't get Aoni to eat his vegetables. Fruit, on the other hand, he can't get enough of. If you happen to have an apple, maybe you could bring it to him on his mail route. <laughs> I love Delilah. She's like a, an older Scottish mom. Great to see you. I know it must seem silly that I'm so worried about the beast in the Elderwood. Truth is, I have a history with that thing. One that I'm not quite ready to talk about. Let's just say my life would be pretty different if I never ran into it. Sure you don't have time for one more tale. I have time for you to tell me the story of the beast in the Elderwood right now. Now that you've mentioned that it is a mysterious thing. That's so rude. Why would she do that to us? She like teased the fact that, oh, I have a history with it. And then that was it. <laughs> Doesn't tell us anything else. Terrible. All right, let's see. We could talk to Gina. It looks like she's gonna be awake for just a few more minutes. Uh, everybody else seems to be asleep. And we haven't run into Hodari even once. Kind of weird. We usually run into him quite a bit. I should move my cinnamon rolls to where I could reach them easier, but then they would be all over my keyboard. So, taking a brief moment while we wait for the clock to roll over to eat the middle of a cinnamon roll, which is the best part of a cinnamon roll, perfectly honestly. Oh, I'm getting icing everywhere. I'll vacuum it up later. Oh. My ar icing is starting to harden and crack, which is fine, but I really need it to stop doing that so I could just eat it. Yum, 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 yum. This is literally the best part of a cinnamon roll. Also, it's been a while since I had anything to eat while on stream, so yeah. We still have, it looks like, five in-game hours. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. All our plants are watered, everything's grown and ready. Uh, I guess the only thing to do, actually it might be too late for the uh, the night market. At some point we'll have to check out the night market again when we have more money uh, because there is like a like a bathtub and a toilet and things like that which I haven't seen them be buildable like they're not in the achievement screen. Um, sorry I'm trying to move stuff off my fingers. Um, 
it's makeshift. Where is the other one? I think it is. Nope. Oh, fancy crafter. Nope. That does have a fountain though. Uh, the dragon one. No, the alchemic one. Maybe it is. So one of these has a like a tub or something that's part of the set but there's not a way to make it or at least it doesn't give you credit when you make it but i don't remember which one it was that looks like a towel holder of some kind but i don't see the tub like here's a sink and a fountain but i don't see a tub so these kind of give you insight about things that you could make um and when you're making that set but the tub is not a part of them however we have seen it for sale in the underground market so we know it exists it could be that it is flow powered and that's why we can't buy it or make it ourselves we don't understand the complexities of whatever it is all right let's see hmm Yep, 10,000. Okay. So, we'll need 10,000 to get our gazebo here. And then we'll need 3,000 to get our hallway section. And we bought all the writs that we can, so our, our renown can't be used for anything here. Uh, I guess we could up our focus meter. We still got that. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the house. We're going to drop off the two uh, stools. And we're basically just waiting for it to be 6 a.m. so that the stuff rolls over. That's the hardest part in games like this, is waiting for the actual time to pass. Because normally you'll run around and you'll be like, man, time is going so quick. How could I ever get everything done? And then the next thing you know, uh, everything is just slowed to a snail's pace. So... I will say that it is much easier to um, like to wait out the, the clock in a game like this because there are so many different things that you could be doing, whereas in some other games it's like, okay, I'm waiting out the clock, I'll just go to bed. So, but yeah. In this one you actually have stuff to do. Like I could be crafting, I could be fishing, I could be hunting, I could be doing all kinds of things. I don't actually just have to sit here and wait. But I was. Alright, so it looks like this is the closest we can put it to the house. So not the worst, but not the best. Um, since we'll be putting two of them, it'll look a little better. And I was kind of hoping it would be a little... Oh wait, can I put them on the porch? I can put them on the porch. I'm silly. Okay. Put them on the porch. No need to put them on the ground. Um... Uh, yeah, but one on the porch. But I can't seem to... Okay, there we go. Is it there? Is that where I put the other one? Mmm. That doesn't look like it's in the same place. So you're on these two bottom thingies. No, maybe it is. It just doesn't look the same. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll put the two jack-o'-lanterns. Perfect. We just need the money. So what do I need to do to earn the money? Hmm. That'll get me 250 for those. Um the meat'll only get me 250. That'll only get me 51. The jams will get me 150. Oh, the little puffs from the festival. Oh, they were so good. I'm keeping them. I'm not selling them. Uh, grilled fish, oysters, regular jelly. Oh, that's 110 for that one. That's not bad. I don't know how to make it, but that's a pretty good price. Pickled potatoes, regular pickles. Okay. Oyster meat. Uh -huh. Let's go see if we can find something to make and sell real quick so we know that this one's like 50 or so i think the thing just said um let's see 
Have I, or there, is there anything I've never crafted? No, okay. Alphabetical it is then. So we've crafted all the food that we know how to make. Uh, we know Kinley asked for ramen. So we'll go ahead and, okay, wait. I think I sold all my wheat, just kidding. Did I sell all the wheat? Oh, I did sell all the wheat. Oops. Hmm. I did say I was going to only keep uh, star crops and sell all my wheat with the last little shipping. So, um, I'm going to sell our not star crops. So anything I have that's not a star crop is getting sold. Are they, oh, these are Samara. These are not what she's looking for. Then I have pine cones and acorns. Um, yeah. Goodbye, tree seeds. So that's 1400 That's not too bad. It's not as much as we need, but it is a little bit of money. Let's drop some stuff in here. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Yes. We probably did need that flint for somebody, but I don't remember who. And I haven't figured out what to do with the small handheld device. Do I have any blueberries? Still no. Okay. And this thing is working hard on making our stone. And I'm supposed to be getting more stone and I forgot. Do I have any stone that's... Gr okay, I do. Cool. I was going to say, sometimes stone grows on your home plot, and you can just take it out. So, that's what we're going to do. Whack, whack, whack. Nice. Seven stone. That's not bad. Well, look at this little pond. Oh, if we could put the gazebo there, that would be nice. Unfortunately, I don't think the gazebo can go... Oops, wrong button. Always. Yeah, it can only go this far, so... As much as I would love to put the gazebo right up next to that pond, the closest we would get would be over here, which isn't bad. Um, could definitely put it here, but then it would be like right next to this rock. And that's a little less nice. Eh, I don't really need the tree wood, so... Let's leave it alone. What is with this path? Why is there a path? It's not a, it's not a true path, but it was suddenly a path. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Alright, we only have 45 in-game minutes to wait. Not bad. I don't see any other stone, though. Hmm. Okay, apparently that was the only one we had. Shove it in the smelter. Might as well. And then we're definitely gonna need... Wait, did this already finish? Oh. There we go. Apparently that already finished. That's pretty cool. Drop this stuff in. Not that I really need the fertilizer or anything. Um, that's one bonus day of growth per two days of growth. Hmm. Maybe I do need the fertilizer. Uh, seven. I used all my fertilizer on this. I don't know what it does. <laughs> so I still haven't quite figured out how to use the, the speedy fertilizer. Um, I saw a guide somewhere that said that it had a chance to proc another day or something. I don't know what it was talking about. I'm very confused. <laughs> I wish I knew, but sadly I do not. Um, I am going to sacrifice the meat. I'll probably need more chop of meat, and I'll regret having sacrificed it all. But not today. Today, we're making money. Or we're trying to, anyway. So, I have no time for regrets. Well, I do have wheat seeds. I could put more wheat seeds here. Alright, we made $1,900, and we got something in the mail, which is our thing. So we can go use our two lucky coins. Hopefully that'll get us some more free seeds, which is always nice. Um, we'll leave that. Let's look for all our weeds real quick. 
It looks like this wheat has grown, which is cool. But our other stuff, not no dice. This, of course, has grown because it was already grown. Oh, I don't see any wheat there. Okay, cool. Not bad, not bad. We can harvest our tomatoes. Okay, two tomatoes, not bad. Chilies. Hi, welcome to Chilies. Got those, got these. I hope next Sunday is a lot of fun for all of us. Uh, we are going to be doing Blind Gamers Awareness. Um, because it's the month of October and we're celebrating Blind Gamers Awareness. And next weekend is the official weekend that they're running it. Uh, so we will be using things like text-to-speech and Discord chat and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I've decided that I am going to be playing Ooblets because it is fun and sound-based and there's not a lot of... Um, there's not a lot of consequence if we don't do something quite right. So I don't feel like it's going to be the... I don't think it's going to be the worst game to possibly play. Um, I think it'll be pretty pretty on par with what we're trying to do and will be pretty easy to navigate even if uh, we are unsighted for some of our, our game time. So I think that's going to be our best bet is to play some of that one. Um, most of these other games, because they are more intricate, uh, like this one, I don't think I could do this one without any kind of sight. Um, I mean, I could try, but it would be difficult to do certain things in the game. So we might give it a shot just to see if we can do like a little bit of different games and just kind of play a variety of games. But I think our primary game is going to be Ooblets because we still need to finish all of the Halloween stuff. We didn't finish it last time we played. We were still missing one of them. I will say my coffee and the cinnamon roll is a very excellent combination. Yum. Alright. It is a new day, which means more talking to people. We do need to get Hodari and like talk to him, give him stuff, but he'll be alright for now. Valeri's already up and at it, as usual. I remember you like how-to books. I just got some new instruction manuals on juggling I think might tickle your fancy. I don't remember saying that to her. If you have the chance, I suggest visiting the shrine at the northeastern outskirts of the village. Our sage works hard to maintain the site for prayer and reflection. He occasionally leads wellness exercises there as well, though he has been too busy lately to do so. Hmm. I rarely get a chance to leave the library for food. When I do get the chance to eat, get a chance to eat, I'm partial to the taste of fish. As long as it's not too fishy, something like redfin might really hit the spot. But I want to go in the forbidden section. That's why I'm trying to be your friend. I keep telling her that. She keeps not listening. You have any cool Hi, Yoni. Need something? Chat. That boy's just a page who thinks he's a knight. Don't count on him if you need someone to fight. Fight for you, babe. What? I'm the knight who'll fight. For you, babe. All through the night, you can count on me, babe. What's that? What was... Oh, it's a song. <laughs> That's how it looks like. I don't like the Bahari boys. Their songs are just really good at getting stuck in your head, okay? That was supposed to be a song. I've been trying to get a garden snail, but I can't find any. Because they're in Bahari. They're not here. I'm sorry. That was supposed to be a song, and I spoke right through it. <coughs> Excuse me. Fireworks and heat root. Nice. Those are actually some good ones. I was kind of expecting seeds, so it's it's nice that it gave us something else for a change. Or maybe it's because I was expecting seeds that it gave us something else. Hmm. Ashura, where are you? Oh, you're in the hallway. Hello, friend. Always make time for you. He'll always make time for us. That's so sweet. I think the thing on his chest 
is like the the Majiri equivalent of a dog tag. I think that's what that's supposed to be. I don't actually know. Uh, how's the day treating you? Will you be my chef? It's a bit too soon for that. All of us in Kilima take the role very seriously, and you should too. Oh. Stay safe, friend. Oh. I guess technically we talked to him after midnight, so we did talk to him today. Darn. Great chatting with you. Okay. Is there anything that we can buy? We can buy Dari clothes. Not that I need them right now, but I will buy one. Two, actually. So, Dari clothes are a lot more rare than anything else. Um, so really, if I'm going to be spending my foraging money on anything, it's going to be something like that. I think he does sell some stuff that I might want, but I don't know what it is Your yet. Eyes are like, um, lettuce soup. My eyes are like lettuce soup. Um, oh no, we're stuck in our chat with him. I don't want you to do anything stupid, like trying to get me out of debt, okay? Uh, I guess we're stuck in our chat with him. We have to wait till he walks away because the game decided we're not allowed to do anything but stare at his face. So that's fun. Um, I'm trying to hit buttons and tab out and do all kinds of stuff, but the game is just not cooperating at all. Look here, let me out of this conversation, please. I like Ress as much as the next person, but you can't just trap me in conversation with him. Oh, we make him feel less terrible, and here I was trying to stop talking to him. What brings you over to this neck of the village? Uh, chat. I don't want you to do anything stupid, like trying to get me out of debt, okay? The cartel may not seem like such a big deal, but they are bad news. I couldn't live with myself if anything happened to you because of me. Aww. Ready to cause a scandal? Always. That's why I like you. Uh, well, one of many reasons. If you've got a few hours, I can start listing them. Oh, my heart. Days like this, when there's a slight chill in the air, I always get a hankering for a good old-fashioned tomato soup. Oh, I will make you a tomato soup, my love. No clear, worries. I'll miss you. Oh. All I did was walk away, and he said he'll miss us. I like Breath a lot. He seems to be a very, like, he's very flirty, he's very like, I'm a playboy, blah blah blah, but then you really get to know him, and he is incredibly genuine, and I like him a lot. I'm glad that his love of soup is what drew us to him. Um, he's he's definitely the kind of person that I would end up flirting with, and then he would be genuine for like 0.5 seconds, and it would be like, well, now I'm in love with him. <laughs> so, a little bit of bad boy, a little bit of I'm in trouble with the law. You know, the usual. All right, so we have enough seeds that I could pick these and replant them. I think I might do that. Nice, and then I have to till the soil because we haven't tilled it in a while. So it does technically expire under your crops, which is a weird sentence, but it does. All right, we will put this back. Bloop and bloop. Perfect. Let's grab these three. Water, water, water. I don't know why I came at them from a vertical instead of a sideways. But, you know, it's fine. So the reason that we do that is because they still get the boost, even though they are, um, like, the other ones aren't grown. It still gives a boost. So that's why we do that. All right, how much did we make? Not bad. We're still only making 600, which means that these have definitely been nerfed a little bit. Uh, or maybe these have. I think tomatoes got nerfed. That's all right. 10 of these is still giving us like 500 bucks, so that's not too bad. I'm not sure what the best way to make money is in this game, because I know that it used to be um, like making cakes, apparently. Which I've never done, because we only got the cake recipe uh, not that long ago. 
But apparently they nerfed that, and now that's no longer a good way to make money. So I have no idea. I legitimately don't know. So, oh, I can't even make the cake there. Where do I make the cake? Did they take away my... Oh, here's my cake. So, apparently this used to be like a jam or something, and now it's like the, the fruit, and then you have to have some fruit and some sugar, which I don't have either one. Please turn it back on. Thank you. I think I need to switch the um, the thing that's in here. Maybe switch those two for each other so that I stop accidentally turning this off every time I run around the kitchen. <laughs> so, all right. We're going to grab our chandelier. We're going to put it here for now. We're going to grab this. We're going to put it into the actual kitchen. There. Now we actually have light, and the chandelier can be above the table. Now it's not above the middle of the table, it's gonna bother me. Ugh, come on. It says this is the middle of the room, is this line, but it's not the middle of the table. Mm, is that the middle of the table? Yep. Uh, yep, that's the middle of the table. Okay, cool. Cool. Alright, we have... 1900 and we're getting about 500 more in just a minute well in a few hours in game but just a minute in uh, real life so that's not too bad it is interesting to me that uh it equals out to 30 minutes real time is about 12 hours in game but i don't know sorry i had to adjust my shirt because it was riding up on me it didn't want to stay where it was supposed to I had to adjust. Also, I somehow didn't put my chair back where it usually goes. Oh no! People are T-posing behind me. Wow, there are some interesting names. That person's name was Rainbow Barf. Alright, so we need to talk to some characters. Like, we need to talk to Anar. We need to talk to Hodari, because we haven't talked to him at all today. Uh, there he is. We'll make a beeline straight for the mining man. I guess we can talk to Hacian on the way. Mostly because Tao is here. What do you need? What's up, Hacian? Tao prefers to be out in nature, as do I. I like spending time at the lake. It's very quiet there, usually. My quiver is nearly worn through. Do you think you could find an azure chapa tail to mend it? Probably. I assume I'll see you again. Woof woof. Tao sniffs your hand. Like, oh. Arf arf. Tao looks like he's in the mood to sink his teeth into something. Some choppa meat might do the trick. I will bring you choppa meat, boy. No worries. I will instantly go hunt a choppa specifically for this good boy. Um. Choppa. Death. Death to Chapa. Meat. Meat. Give me back the good boy. I will give him some meat. Oh, he's so cute. Meat. Oh. Hungrily licks his chops, ready to dig in. <gasps> Yay! We leveled up. Okay. That's the real relationship I care about. What's ours? Are we at two now? Okay, so now we have a quest, um, and then at level 3, I think we get more uh, fireworks, and then at level 4, we get the plushie that we're looking for. So, why is it not spawning a quest for us? Unconditional affection. What a good boy. What a good boy. Oh, I love dogs so much. What is it? Chat. If you're looking for copper, you'll find it near the village. Iron and pallium are further out in the bay. Yep. Okay. You need I like how everybody is surrounding him. Like, hey, we got a hit on mining, Dad. If you get some extra heartwood planks, mine's in it on my way. Oh, I don't mind at all. Okay. He's probably tired of people like me. 
All right, so our friendship level with Hadari is still at level two, just like with uh, Anar. I think Anar's is, yeah, Anar's is definitely higher, so that's okay. We never really talked to Hodari too much because he was always more of like a wandering type. Um, but we also never really talked to Anar because he was always by the lake and I'm not a huge fan of fishing in this game. So I think that kind of holds true for most of the games I play. Fishing is not a relaxing thing for me, both in or out of game. <laughs> Oh, that person's outfit was cool. Oh, I liked that. You look as though you have something to Humans are both ancient and new at the same time. Fascinating. I must focus on my I feel much today. It appears as if someone is speaking to me. How odd. Um, did we already... I, must focus on my I thought we talked to him before midnight. But I guess maybe not. Maybe we talked to him after midnight. This person is dressed really cool. I like their outfit. They're probably really confused by the fact that we stopped and like ran around them a little bit and then bolted. Oh, hey, it's the weird lady. What's up, Eloisa? Am I a real human or am I, you know? I don't know. Please enlighten me right now. Salutations, chat. I sent you some secrets about fish in the mail, but the letter just got returned to me. Aoni is so into bugs, I think he has a secret agenda against the fish. I would just tell you what I know, but we do not know if Aoni is listening. What? If you see an indigo lamprey, let me know. I have been searching for one. Despite their name, I have heard their hue is closer to violet than indigo. Quite suspicious. Don't let I don't think that's... I don't think that's suspicious, Eloisa. I don't... Okay. Hey, now we haven't talked to you in a while. More important than family. Stop by the farm sometime. Uh, Yesterday, I found a Mujin pup trapped in a well. Besides, I scraped my arm saving it, but totally worth it to see the look on the little guy's face when I reunited him with his parents. What is a Mujin? Um, I was tilling the fields yesterday, and my hoe broke right in half. I could make another one if I had a stone brick. To you always help. Do I have a stone on me? I don't have a stone brick on me. How did he know I was making stone bricks? Suspicious. Speaking of, we need to gather more stone. Because we are running low on stone. Like, really, really low. Alright. Back into the wilds we go. Mostly because we're hunting stone. Which shouldn't take too long. It's usually right along the, the mountainous area. Unless somebody's been through here recently, in which case we'll have to venture. Oh, see, there's one right here. Oh. Sorry, friend. Um, apparently we're stepping into their uh, mining area. So we'll just head out somewhere else. Usually lower level players are looking for copper, but maybe they're looking for stone too for like building stuff. Oh, look, copper. I don't know why we stuttered like that. <laughs> it was just a big old slab of copper. That's all we got. Oh, we got a couple stone too, I guess. Um, hmm. Okay. None of what I needed. No problem. No problem. There's plenty of, like, edges where stuff grows. Uh, see? Here's some. And that that I just passed up. And although it's not raising our mining very quickly, it is still raising our mining skill. Which we still don't have to level 10, so, you know, that's another benefit. I'm not really looking for clay or copper, so we're just going to ignore those if we come across them. Um, I know we picked the one copper already, but we're just going to ignore them from now on. Let's see, copper. Okay, head to this other side. Lots and lots of dragonflies. Alright, let's see. Any stones, any stones for me. I usually find them over here along the side of the lake as well. But I'm guessing maybe somebody came through here already? Hmm. Wow. Oh, wow. That person was catching Pokemon as a fairy. I guess they're not Pokemon, but it's still Pokemon catching. Nice. 
little tiny one. Technically, you can make flow trees spawn if you cut down a bunch of trees, but if you cut down the little trees, you will end up with only tiny flow trees. Fun fact of the day. I found that out when I was running around looking for, um, like, I think it was pallium that we were looking for, but we were running around looking for something. Oh, hello, beetle. You're unusual. I must catch you. Um, throw, please? Excuse me? Wow, that Pradhorn stag beetle did not want to come home with us. Too bad. Alright, there's the underground, which is cool and all, but... I wonder if these are nerfed. Because I remember the, the lake flowers being worth a couple hundred, but... Or like a hundred apiece, at least. What are you? I, I'm sure I've caught one before, but what are you? Oh, a princess ladybug. Nice. And we got some free silk, which is cool. Wow. The deer waited until we ran away from it to be startled. I love that for it. Hmm. How much are the flowers worth now? They're worth 20. Oh. Okay. Um, and we're like out of focus, basically. So. Yum, yum, yum. Waffles. It's not supposed to be waffles. It's supposed to be like a, some sort of pie. But it looks like waffles, so I keep thinking of it as fairy waffles. What is that? Is there a frog over here somewhere? I'm sure I heard a frog. That's not mineable. Hmm. I don't know why I thought it was, but my brain was like, yeah, you can mine that. Okay, brain, we'll mine it. We cannot. But we can mine this one. Whack. 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 Gosh, we need so much money. I don't know how we're going to get it. I know it's going to take us a while if we're waiting on the crops to grow. So we could focus on, like, hunting and trying to get a bunch of, like, pelts and meat and stuff. That might be more worthwhile. But, I don't know. They might have nerfed all this, too. If nothing else, we can pick up more chopa meat. Because we did sell all but, like, one high-quality one. So, oh, I missed. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm a good shot. Should I be hunting the Cernux? Yes. Am I going to? I guess. I guess. Not that I want to clear out the entire population of animals in this area, but. Technically, Cassian hates Chappas, so he won't mind if I uh, obliviate them. That's not the word I was looking for, but obliterate was the word I was looking for. He won't mind if we wipe them out. That's what I was trying to say. He will mind if we wipe out the Cernux, though. Oh. No. Dang it. I was just bragging about how good of a hunter I am, and then you go and do that. It's alright. I got my mark. Another princess ladybug. And a praying mantis, which jumps for some reason. Now, unlike in the uh, forests, Killing them does not help spawn a, a special one. So I suppose we could go into Bahari and hunt in there if we wanted to try to, to get like the magical creatures, but nah. No, it looks like somebody else is coming over here to hunt. We don't oh we don't want to interrupt them, so. Ah Bro. Cool, we got the achievement for hunting together. And the one for hunting creatures. Thanks, friend. Uh, you definitely interrupted what I was doing, though. See, I was trying not to interrupt anybody else's hunting, so I didn't attack that Sarnuk. 
but I did want to hunt Choppas, and then the next thing I knew, the arrow was flying from across the screen. Interesting. Stone. More stone, more stone. I think if we take out the regular stone ones, then the copper has a higher chance to spawn. So we are helping people. Maybe. Hopefully. Hmm. I'm running away from that person. Oh, look, Gina. Gina, where's Hecla? I'm glad you came. Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? As a scholar, I have to be hard on myself. Not very many Pallians, whether they are Majiri or Grimalkin, have the opportunity or responsibility of exploring these ruins. If I don't add to our understanding with my research, I'm effectively taking away knowledge the world could have gotten from a more capable scholar. Aww. You'll do just fine, Gina. My favorite dish from home was stuffed mushrooms, but here I don't have time to cook. Aww. I guess we'll have to make her some stuffed mushrooms. I think we've got the ingredients for it, but we'll find out. Whack. 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 And then there should be choppas on the farm. Maybe, unless somebody cleared them out already. Hmm. I don't see any choppas, so somebody must have come through here and hunted recently. No worries. We'll just head up here. There's usually some across here on the way to the ruins, so... I'm sure we'll find something. Mostly bugs, apparently. That's okay. Now, we could pick up a fire-breathing dragonfly. Um, I think somebody was looking for one. I think it was uh, Kenyatta, actually. So. Oh, we startled a Cernuck. I don't think we took him out, but... Where did he go? Did we glitch him into the... Huh. He, uh, glitched out of existence. So I guess he slipped into the back rooms. I have no other explanation for where that Cernuck went. Because there was no, like, gift bag on the ground indicating that we'd managed to take him down. But there was also no, like, Cernuck. He just wasn't anywhere. So. That does happen. I've seen Cernax get stuck in trees and all sorts of stuff. Alright, we got these two. Um, I very much shot you. Huh. Hey look, it's an immortal Cernuck who is afraid of nothing. Wow. Oh, now he wants to run. Hey, I was trying to get a photo with you. Did he just run into the wall? Ghost Cernuck. He went into the wall. That's not a place for you to be able to run. The creatures are very bugged today, and it is uh, weird, and I don't like it. I don't like it. The Cernuks are bugged, the bugs are bugged, can't do it, gotta run. Is that a flow tree? It is a flow tree. I don't think I'm able to take it out on my own though. Yeah, no, that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't work. Where am I? Uh, flow tree... There's no one nearby, though. On the way to Phoenix Falls. Oops, there's too many N's in that word. Falls. Alright, and thankfully, we have a couple of fireworks. There we go. Let's see if anybody responds. Yeah, because we're not going to be able to take it out ourselves. Yikes. Hopefully somebody wants to join us. 
Um, okay, good. Somebody said they're on their way. Hopefully other people come too. Um, I don't know where that person's going. There we go. They were coming for us. Oops, wrong button. Alright, so we do have somebody else coming, so let's wait on them. Nice. <laughs> We're sitting legs a akimbo uh, with a skirt on. It's a good thing we have shorts. Oh my god. Interesting. That must be the new uh, firework that they introduced. I don't think I like that. It is very handy for indicating where stuff is, though. I'll give it that. But raining fire down from the sky on a tree seems like a bad idea. Oh, there's Chris. It says there's three players nearby, but I only see two. Hmm. I see someone else nearby, but I don't see them. Oh, there's somebody. Are they coming for us? Or... No? Okay. Alright, take out the tree! when the community works together. So I'm glad that they have things like the flow trees that does take more than one person most of the time to take out. Um, now it's not always a like 100% required multiple people have to be there. Like there are circumstances where you could do it on your own. Um, but I just think it's really cool. Also we had just enough to purchase these and I avoided purchasing them. I don't know why. I thought I thought that I think I thought that I was still a little short. So that's okay. We got our we got our jack-o'-lanterns. We have done the thing. Oh hey. What's up, Hecla? It is my oneness to attend to the needs of others. How can I help you? Escape. Because I can't click on anything. Hello, human. Hello. The buttons you brought were acceptable. I would have preferred that two that were the same size, but I suppose I didn't really specify. I mean you could go talk to Jell. Gina is quite a fan of consuming fungi. Let me know if you spot some so I can prepare her dinner. Okay. Initiating goodbye ritual. I like the robot voices they chose for all the robots. They're very, like... I don't know. They're more mystical than robotic, which I think is really cool. But they still have, like, a hint of... What the heck? I heard a firework, but I don't know why I heard a firework. Coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Singularity 6 will never ask for your password. Not even once. Alright. Uh, can I still not interact with things? Okay, there. Drop that off, that off, that off. This, those. Both these bugs. Still only $600. Hmm. Technically, I can sell the Dari clothes, and then I can earn more points and get more. But that'll only make me 120 for those two. Sell all these tails real quick. Wait, what kind of... Ooh, a striped top of tail. Hmm. Didn't realize we had one. Um... I don't really 
really need the silk, so I can ditch that. Um, do I need the heat root? I actually don't know. Uh, crops, no. Gatherables, there we go. Heat root. Um, well, they're not high quality, so those I can sell. It'll be fine. I do have quite a few spice sprouts I can sell, too. We'll sell 20. Because I still have 25. Yeah, those are worth 18 apiece. Those are worth 36 apiece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's get this down to 30. We'll get that down to 25. Um, if I sold all 70 sweet leaf, I'd make $1,000. But instead, I'm going to sell 25 of them. Nice. We'll make our 19 back, 1900 back just instantly. Well, when they sell in the morning. Where am I going? <laughs> All right. Number five, which is our little Cernic one. And number six, which is our other one. Okay. So I think what I need is to buy more of the floaty candles and put the floaty candles, uh, like, outside. Can I? Can I put them outside, actually? I don't know. Uh... How high do they float if I put them on the ground here? They don't seem to float very high. Let me wait till the door closes. Yeah, I think if I get a second candle and then just float through, that would be fine. But the inside of my house doesn't look very spooky. So, I don't know. Can I put wallpaper on the outside of my house? Probably not. Probably not. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it alone. I'll probably leave the jack-o'-lanterns up year-round, mostly because I don't know where else to put them. I guess I could redecorate if, like, you know, there's, like, a Christmas thing or whatever, but... I don't know. We'll see. Craft more stone. Oop. Um, no, that was it. Just craft more stone. Which means I can make a bellflower thing. Woohoo! An armchair. Do I have a sofa? I don't. Oh, okay. Oh well. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. Mm, the fountain! <laughs> the grand fountain. I would like it so that I could put it with my gazebo. That eventually will exist. Armchair is ready. Now the bed. Ooh, how do I make this? A hundred stone? Jesus. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Um, that takes ten. That takes thirty. Mm. Yeah, let's make them both. Mm. Mm. Coffee table. Nice. For our living room. Can I make the coffee table? I cannot, because I need more stone. But I can still make the bed. Go ahead and make it. Nice. Oh, it counted as rare furniture. Cool. Oh, the curtains. Absolutely. Absolutely the curtains. So we can put them in our bedroom. Nice. What would it take to make the curtains? More silk. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Um, craft. Uh, that should make four. I don't know how many I need, though. I forgot already. To make the curtains... Oh, I need eight, so I do need just four more. Nice. And that doesn't need any. We've already made that. Wow, 100 stone bricks. I think that's like 500 stones that would be needed to make that. And making all that ran me out of uh, focus, so I need to make some more food. Oh, thank you. Thank you to him. I need to make some food for my time. <gasps> I can't make any of these. Oh, no. What if I use high quality? Oh, right. I'm out of wheat. Forgot about that. I can't make tomato soup for Reth. That's all he wants. Um, 225. That would make me 500. But I don't have enough 
uh, spice sprouts to make a high quality one of that. So let me see, 300, I would need, no, because I need wheat. Um, I'll check this. Fish stew, fish stew would be 100. That's easy. Oh wait, I need the spices. Meaty stir fry would be 250. Would be any vegetable and some rice. Phoenix Fire Rayano. Um, can't make the ramen because we don't have any of that. I don't need that. Um, steak dinner. If I could just go grill some meat on the outside grill. No, I can't do that. Um, technically, I do still have food. I have the little hopalong puffs so we will sacrifice one hopalong puff just to get our focus up because we'll need it when the clock rolls over so nice 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 nice, nice. Okay. um oh i didn't water this stuff how did that happen that would have been bad none of it would have grown Technically, the blueberries are taking up four plots worth, so they take more water. And then, of course, the apple tree is an entire nine plot. Um, so, because each of these little things is four plots, or three by three, and this entire three by three is the, uh, the little thing. So, whereas blueberries are only two by two. Why am I watering the lake? I don't know. Or puddle, technically. It's not really a lake. Alright. So our bedroom is very cute. But I want to see what I can do with this stuff. See, I can make it berry, just like my room. Or I could go with the Calathea and redo the whole bedroom. Hmm. Do I switch this for my belt? Yeah, I think I do want the bellflower bed, actually. Nice. Uh, oh, it modified it without doing anything. I was very confused. Oops, uh, three. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that bed. It doesn't really match anything. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, I need to move all of my stuffed animals onto it. Um, you know, now that I've made it, I'm less enthused about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I could make a second bedroom and make it a different color. Hmm. It's not as nice as I thought it was going to be. So, oh well. Into the storage it goes, because I have unlimited furniture storage. Nice. And in goes the copper, because I don't need it. These away, put that away. Okay. Nice. More bricks. Don't mind if I do. We are going to go on another little brick hunt while we wait for it to be 6 a.m. in game time. So that hopefully our crops are a little more grown. Um, but I don't know if we're going to be able to grow them a whole lot today. So... That may be where this particular round of polya ends. And I may just have to gather stone in my downtime. Only because it's going to be quite the undertaking. Because we need probably 500 pieces just to make that one thing. I don't know if that's uh, going to be that entertaining for you all. Technically, if we go to Bahari and we start doing stuff in Bahari... Uh, we might have less competition for things, so most people are going to be looking for iron or polyum, so most people won't be necessarily harvesting the smaller stone. So it could work. We just don't have any, um, we don't have any food on us if we run out of focus. Yeah, we can go to the other side. We will go to Bahari. And we will uh, do our best. I'll probably hunt along the way just so 
we get more like meat and horns and things like that. Uh, well, antlers, tails, all that. So that we're able to kind of supplement some of the income that we're not making by running around just mining the heck out of things. But we might run into Hodari. He might like us better because we're uh, out here hunting. I'm not chasing that. <laughs> I'm not chasing that. I don't need him that bad. Okay, that deer was very confused. And it confused me. You can view your party members' locations on the map. Which is one of my favorite features, actually. I'm glad that they added that, like, from the jump. Um, hmm. We'll just start along this wall. That's a good place to start. And any mineable spots we come across, we will take them out. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it will cause, like, a higher chance for Polyum to spawn. But I'm not 100% sure. If it is, then cool. We're helping both ourselves and other players. And if not, well... I mean, at least we're getting stuff. We keep track of our stone. Oh, we're on 12. We need 500. We definitely won't be sitting here waiting for all of it to, uh, to melt down. But I do want to try to gather as much of it as I can. And then maybe get it in the smelter before we uh, call it a night. Well, a day, because it's, you know... 11 a.m. Alright, grab that. And this one, I'm surprised I'm even hitting that. <laughs> I thought I was going to turn more before I started hitting that, and I didn't. So, neat. Excellent. Literally any spot that I come across that we can mine, we are going to mine. Because that's the best way I can think of to get us what we need. Oh, I think this one might be iron. Nice, iron ore. Plus, we'll get iron while we're out here, if we're mining all the spots. The one caveat would be if we find a polyum spot, um, it would be courteous of us to call it out. So if it's more than like two swings, then we'll call it out. If it's only like a little teeny tiny one that's just gonna give us one anyway, it may not be worth waiting for other people. So, I do prefer to call them out when I see them and give other people an opportunity, even if it is just like one little thing. But since we are out here trying to get just as much uh, stone as we can, it might be more beneficial to go ahead and just grab. If it's small. If it's like a big one and it would take like four or five hits, then yeah, obviously we're going to call that out. But... Like, if it's a this size, but it's polyum, we're definitely calling that out. But if it's, like, the little teeny tiny one that breaks and, like, you sneeze on it and it breaks, yeah, no. And that might be a controversial opinion. There are folks who think that no matter what you do, if it's a polyum, you always call it out. And there are folks that are like, nah, finders keepers. So, I don't know. I'm glad that the game does promote... Like, oh, if everybody hits it, then everybody gets some of it. But, you know, I get why they didn't make it a requirement for the, the stone, necessarily. Um, I don't think this is where I was trying to go, but we're going to go up here anyway. So I'm trying to go into these little higher places only because they're less likely to be uh, mined or run around in. Like, that guy was already running around down here, so he's probably taken all of the the stones and stuff that we could get. Oh! There's a tiny polyum. Hmm. That one's gonna take a few whacks. Are there people nearby? Um, I don't know how to signal. I 
I don't know if they're paying attention to chat is the thing. But I know there's somebody down here mining spots, so I, I definitely want them to be able to hit this thing. But... I don't know. If it takes them a while to get over here, we're not gonna wait too long. But... I was hoping that if they were nearby, they would come running. I don't know. Because it says there's one player nearby, so I figured nearby chat would be the best way. But... I don't know. Maybe we should have used the server-wide chat? Um... I don't see that other player anymore. They were running around mining, so I thought maybe they were trying to get Polyum to spawn. But... Alright, we've hit it twice. We're gonna run around in the mines a little bit and come back to it. If they haven't taken it out by then, well, that's our answer. And if they have, well, that's also our answer. Well, there's a person. Hmm. But that's not the same person we saw before. Maybe we should have used server chat. Maybe they're too... Wait, no, come back. Wait, friends. People. Countrymen. Hmm. We should have used server chat. So we're looking at Minecraft mod. I know, right? You get full bodies. I'm taking it. If anybody was in the mine looking for it, they would have just got one. Um, and we, we did our best. Also, good morning, Focus. How are you? You missed our cinnamon roll eating. I still have a second one, but I haven't eaten it yet. Which reminds me, I need to, I don't know why you reminded me of this, but I need to get some more bad fan fictions together. Because I need to, to line those up in case we don't finish uh, Ace Attorney next weekend. Actually awake in the morning on a Sunday and you already have your chores done, yay jet lag. Nice. Congratulations on having your chores done and welcome back stateside. Or welcome away from... <laughs> Yay, more bad fan fixings. Do it. Thank you. I will. As soon as I can find some. Because I've done some really bad ones. Find some really bad weeb ones. Oh, I would love to. Um, what I probably need to do is branch into... Like... Ones for shows that are really popular. Like maybe some Naruto ones or something. Well... Naruto's not as popular now, but it was a popular anime, which means there's probably going to be plenty of fanfictions about it. So, we've done, um, technically we did do one that was a Danganronpa fic, but that's not really technically an anime. Um, and then, of course, everything else has just been, like, Harry Potter ones <laughs> and, like, Sonic. We've had a weird assortment of fanfictions on the, the channel, so... We'll have to find more. Sonic would be a treasure trove, but not healthy for my mental state. Yeah, honestly, you're right. Naruto and Dragon Ball would be a treasure trove. I'm sure there's some terrible One Piece ones too. Well, One Piece is so long that I wouldn't know if I was reading a fan fiction or an actual plot line. I'm just gonna throw it out there. It could have been a one-off plot line that the creator had that lasted for like 12 episodes. You never know. Nice, we finally found some more rocks. That took a while. Uh, don't know why we had the extra swing, but okay. We're trying to get to 500 stone, uh, which is going to be quite the undertaking. But we're doing that so we can make a fountain. Ooh, eight iron, very nice. I think this is also iron. Three stone, two iron, not bad. I recommend a famously bizarre OP ship fig, but you'd have no clue who the characters are unless you read 500 chapters of the manga. 
Yeah, I don't I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, I love hilariously bad fan fictions. That is just my chef's kiss, dirty pleasure. Dirty pleasure? No, guilty pleasure. Where did that even I don't know. My brain is not working properly because I haven't had quite enough caffeine yet. So I've only had a singular cup of coffee. And like 90% of a cinnamon roll. <laughs> the cinnamon roll is not really caffeine, but it is sugar. And sugar is good for me too. Sugars are not inherently good or bad. It is the amount that you consume. Fun fact of the day. Alright, back to the mainland, I think. Because I don't think we're going to find anything on that side. But yeah, if I have to read 500 chapters of a manga just to understand a fanfiction, I don't think I'll have a good time. Don't think I'll have a good time at all. Alright, there's definitely going to be rocks on that side. Is that a rock right there? It is! Hooray, rock! Speaking of rocks, I saw a post from somewhere... Uh, that was putting out a wax version of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And they, um... They took all his melanin away. It was... Not a good look. I don't, I don't know why they did that. That was a decision that somebody made, and it was a poor one. It's totally worth it so you can understand the deep and complex lore behind a killer penguin ship. What? <laughs> Killer penguin? Are killer and penguin the characters? Or are you talking about penguin from the Batman? Like... What? What is happening? I don't know. Focus, why don't you write us a fanfiction? Just go write us the crackiest crack ship that you can throw together and... That'll be a fun time for all of us involved. If it's misspelled, who cares? It's a bad fanfiction. That's the point of it. Dwight the Marble Johnston. Oh my goodness. I saw one that said, that's not the rock, that's the paper. That was good. That was real good. Yeah. Uh, Killer and Penguin are the characters. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, um... The wax statue is bad, and I want to say it's hilariously bad, but it's very, like, tone-deaf bad, almost, you know? Like, I can tell that the wax statue does not use seasoning in their food. I can tell that the wax statue has no sense of rhythm and claps off the beat. It's bad. Like, it is nowhere near what it should be. For Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Like, there's no way somebody looked at that and went, yeah, that's fine. Absolutely not. It's bad. Um, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh my god, why am I stuttering so much? What is happening to my poor character? She's vibrating out of existence against this mountain. Japanese fan art is drawing a person of character waifu. Yes, just the demelanization of Dwayne The Rock Johnson does very much give off uh, fan art of a POC. For sure, for sure. The amount of drawings I saw of um, a humanized garnet from Steven Universe that just was paler than me yeah it, it happens a lot um i don't know why i don't understand the whole like colorist type of thing that happens i don't I don't understand that i really don't i know it exists and i recognize that it exists and it's hella toxic for sure um but i don't get it Oh my god, a caterpillar jumped out and attacked us. Um, I'm going back up here. I don't think we're gonna find a whole lot more stone here, because it looks like a lot of people are in this area. 
So we may miss out on our ability to uh, find our 500 stone that we're after. Though if we did hit 500 stone, we'd probably manage to get to level 10. So that'd be cool. It doesn't seem very entertaining to uh, run around hitting stones, but we must. We must for our gazebo. Nice. Another stone. Go away, centipede. You only gave me five stone for that? Rude. That was a big one. It should have given me at least ten. And four stone for that one? What the heck? Just spitballing, at least from Eastern Artist. It might have something to do with the lighter skin equals beautiful beauty expectation. Same reason they have whitening and lightening creams as popular beauty products. Just a guess, though. Honestly, that's probably a lot to do with it. Um, but like I said, I personally have never understood the fascination with lighter skin. Like, I am as pale as they come. Like, I don't think it gets a whole lot paler than me. Um... And I don't think my skin is any more beautiful than somebody who has way more melanin. In fact, visually, I prefer people with more melanin than me. Just saying. But, uh, yeah. Apparently, really pale people are considered, or were at some point in history, considered more desirable. And it's caused a lot of lasting effects. So, don't like that. Don't like that at all. Ooh, we got a gold ore out of that one. I didn't even see a thing for it. Neat. We got some iron, we got some stone, we got some gold. It took a while, so I'm kind of... Mm. I meant to ask how your trip was, Focus, since you said you just got back and you were jet-lagged. Um, and then I went off on a tangent about colorization. Another guess, I think it's a patriarchy thing. Light skin... Uh, equals stay at home, docile, etc., which is still very desirable traits in a lot of Asia. And to pigs in the West, too. Yeah, that's true. Um, it was seen as like, oh, if you're more fair, then you have the wealth and the time to stay indoors, blah, blah, blah. Um, but that's like European ideals forced onto other cultures. Um, it's a very colonizer mentality, and I can't get behind that. Definitely cannot get behind that. Hey, look. A garlic. A fancy garlic. Okay, Choppas, chill out. Hey, it's Tao. Hi, Tao. I've grown to not Hi, Hacian. Yeah, what do you want? Whatever you do, don't get my mom sardines. She loves them, but I can't stand the smell. If you're looking for a Choppa, I would try searching in the forest. Choppas are burrowing creatures that make their homes in the base of trees. He's more comfortable with solitude. Yawn, chat. Let's play! Ruff, peekaboo, woof woof! Pant, pant, ruff. Oh, I love Tao so much, he's so cute! I wish I had a Tao. It's endemic to a lot of East Asia, like Japan and Korea too, due to Western influences or homebred, I guess. Um, or I don't know. I guess it goes back to patriarchy either way. Honestly, I think it specifically goes back to uh, Western patriarchy more than anything else. Um, and ideals of, like, what makes a person, like, rich or desirable or yada yada yada. Because, yeah, in olden days, they had it to where they, they pressed these ideals of, like, oh, you know, if you were, um, large and pale, that meant that you never had to work and you never had to go outside, so that means you had wealth and you had this and you had that. And, like, I can see why those ideals would have prevailed at the time, but they've lasted all the way through now, where I don't know why we were digging the air. Um, and that's the part that I don't really understand. Like, we know full well that, you know, somebody can look like me and still do a lot of hard labor, um, skin tone-wise, whereas somebody could be much, much darker and just not have to do a hard day's labor in their life. You never know. It's just odd. It's odd. I, I get why it happened, and I can definitely see, like, the pathway that would have led to it back then. I got it, but... No, I don't get it now. We don't live in those societies now, and we shouldn't, but the ideal still holds, and it's a shame. 
Whee. But also, Dwayne The Rock Johnson doesn't freaking look like that, and I hate it. <laughs> That's the bottom line. He should not be that pale. I hate everything about the wax statue. That is the absolute bottom line of the whole, whole thing. But yeah, it is fun to see all the memes that have come out about it, though. I am a fan of that. I wonder if they will redo it. Like, if there's been such a an outcry and a backlash and so many memes made about it that they'll redo his statue. And I have no idea what just happened. We were running, and then we decided we didn't want to go over the edge of that cliff, I guess. I have no idea. I'm just trying to find more stone, please. Please, I beg. I need stone for my family. A lot of it is still racism, depending on where in the world you're talking about. In South America, for example, uh, darker skinned people are disparaged heavily for being more Indian by whiter people with more Euro Liberian, Liberian ancestry. Yeah, that does make sense. Um, I can definitely see, like, where that would have come about. Um, doesn't make it any better, but I do understand, like, okay, that's how that became a thing, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully, eventually, the world will start moving towards a, a better interpretation and view of people who do have more melanin. Because, you know, I wish I could go outside and not burn just the second that I stared at the sun for more than 0.5 seconds. I do wish that. I wish I had the capability of being less pale. <laughs> but it's just something you're born with. And I don't think that people should be disparaged for something that they're literally born with. So. I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of that commercial that was out that people kept making fun of that um, they stuck a person of African descent in a washing machine and then a pale Asian guy popped out and it was not great. So I understand that those ideals are still very prevalent for <laughs> freaking while, right? Um, I understand that those ideals are still prevalent, um, and they shouldn't be. That's, that's really the bottom line, is they just shouldn't be. I get that they are, I fully understand that it is still a thing, and it is inescapable for a lot of the world, but what the hell, man? Like, <laughs> y'all need to, to do better. We all need to do better, really, but those kinds of things, they need to do better. So, I don't know. We are not finding any more stones. I thought we would have better luck finding stones in Bihari because I thought less people would be running around picking up stones. But I guess not. Um, something about Jari Cloves, I think. Oh, crab. Found a crab. That's all I found. Don't let a creeper blow up your house. I mean, my house will be fine. Woo! Nice. I don't think there's anything on this one. I think we've already gotten it, but my brain tells me to go and look at it, so we had to go. Nice. We did that jump pretty well. To the mines! Let's find out what's over here. I actually really do like this game a lot. Um, I don't like that we need 500 stones, but I do like the game a lot. It's pretty soothing to just kind of run around mining things and... Oh. I didn't think I was close enough to set it off, but apparently we were. I don't think I've been down here before. I don't think I've been in this pathway before. Huh, there's a little drop down spot. I don't want to get stuck there. And it has another thing down here. Huh. Interesting. What's down here? Uh, 
just a hole in the floor, apparently. Okay. Cool, I guess. Why it exists? I don't know. Nice. We climbed back out. Alright, what's on this side? Yeah! Woo! That. I was aiming for this. I saw it and I went, that's where I'm gonna land. And I didn't say anything. I'm sorry. Only one stone from that? Rude. It was only five iron, but it was only one stone. Like, what the heck? I need more stone, dang it. Only two stone from that one. I'm getting a healthy amount of iron. We've already got 45. But I don't need iron. I need stone bricks. Plus, we're chasing away all the chappas. We could be hunting them. But instead, I'm just kind of chasing them away. Hmm. Only one stone from that. We got as much stone from that one as we did the big thing back there. Well, there's six. That helps. We're still only just at the 100 mark. We're not even to 150 yet. Which is a shame. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why is it not still going? Because we already broke it. And I wasn't paying attention. Wow. That was silly of me. Um. No, I don't want to use my magic ones. I want to use my regular ones. Ha <laughs> ha! We didn't scare the second guy, which is kind of funny. Nice. I don't think we're going to get that other one, because we need two shots, and I'm not going to be able to get two while he's running away. No, come on. Dang it. He's long gone. Once they get a certain distance away, I'm no longer confident in how well I can shoot them. So I just kind of give up at that point. Yeah, regular ones is fine. Why is Tao still over here? Alright, we need to get a little closer. We can at least get the first shot off. Ooh! Insta-kill! Nice. I love that for us. Nice! We got two, and then that guy ran. I can catch him. So we're managing to get some meat and some fur, which means we'll at least be able to recoup a little bit of money while we're out here. But not a lot. Another mine shaft. Where am I at? Oh, I'm in the hideaway bluffs. That's not too bad. I think because there's other people out here just straight mining so that they can try to spawn the polyum, um, we may be out of luck when it comes to getting more stone. So we may have to return to... Uh, Kilima to try to get some there. I thought we'd have more luck because there would be less people over here since there were a bunch over there. But maybe there's just a lot of people playing today. That's kind of cool, but also that kind of sucks because I wanted more stone. Drat. Um, let's see if we can find any over here before we head back. There's usually some back here that people don't really mine, so, like, there's one thing there, so we'll work backwards. But we'll see. We could go and get a, um, one of those ore compasses. Maybe. Or make one, I guess, technically. But I don't really want to do that. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Literally just that one tiny spot. That's it. And I don't know if the same rules apply to the mineable spots as my as applies to the, the trees, where if you take out a bunch of small ones, then only small special ones will appear. I don't think that's a thing. But with trees, it does work that way. If you take out a bunch of small trees, only small flow trees will appear. There we go. Hmm. Only three stone for that one. Darn. Do we got any last minutes over here? Oh no! We got, a uh, magic. Dang it. I can't hit him. 
Ugh, he disappeared. Drat. So what's supposed to happen is if you hit the magic one, um, it will stun him and it will get rid of all his... What? He was over... But he was over there! Dang it. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna give up. Hmm. I'm upset by that. I'm very upset by that. He was literally on the other side, so I didn't keep looking for him. But apparently he went back over there. Oh well. Oh well. We tried. We didn't spend all of our magic arrows, so I'm not super upset about it. But I'm a little bit upset because, dang it, we shot him. And we missed the first one, but we shot him the second time. And that person clearly didn't kill him. Otherwise, it would have spawned a, a bag for us. So, darn. Hey, look, a gazebo. I don't know if you can actually place things in your gazebo. I assume you can, since you can place stuff on your porch. Um, but we'll see. Mm. The music is nice. Sometimes I get lost in listening to things like the soundtrack in a game and whatnot. Um, but... Alright, let's see. So we're at 150. We need 500. That's way too much. But I think we'll stop at 200 because that's when I will be too bored with it to continue. <laughs> um, but we will eventually get the, the 100 stone that we need, so it's not too bad. Actually, I think stone bricks only take two... I wonder if I only need 200. Because I don't recall if stone bricks require 2 or 5. Okay, now I don't remember. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Okay, we're gonna get to 200, then we're gonna go check. If it only takes 2, then we're in luck. We can make them in instantly. Uh, well, we can start the process instantly. And if it requires 5, well, that'll be... That'll be future me's problem. Because I want that fountain. Plus, if we're going to build a hallway or anything like that, we are going to need to get together a bunch of more of the stone bricks because it is required for those. So we have quite a bit that we need to gather, I think. So even if it does only take two, we will st still need even more. So, All right, there's some copper. I don't need the copper. We're just going to ignore them. We are going to admire the music, though. It's very nice. It's very soothing, is the thing. So, there's no, like, grand sweeping adventure music, necessarily. There's just the calm, quiet tones, which I appreciate. Uh, oh, I didn't see you there. I would say I feel startled, but that would be a lie. Sarnak tend to gather around the grassy plains. You can often find organic life near its food source. Thanks, Aynar. You are done with your face flapping, and yet you are still here. You are done with your face flapping, and yet you are still here. Um, okay, he might be the rudest character in the game. <laughs> I don't think he means to be, but he's really mean. Like, for no reason, he just says mean stuff. Maybe I should be taking out the copper, because there's a... Quite a few copper and not a lot of stone. Hello, bug. Go away, bug. There's a Cernuck. I just need a regular stone, please. I just need 40 more. Come on. Shouldn't be this hard to find stone. Hmm. Maybe I need to venture into, like, that side. Or maybe I do need to take out the copper. That might be the thing I'm missing. Oh, here's a couple. I don't know why our character jumped in the air after that first swing. Apparently it was really hard. Nice. 
We also need to gather up our money so that we can, one, buy the hallway, but two, buy more floating candles. Those are kind of cool. Uh, thank you. Okay, that one gave me four. That way is only copper, because we've already mined everything else. Sometimes they spawn up here. Um, so we're looking around for some stone that's up here. Along the little pathway here. See? There's a little one. I'm out of coffee, which is a shame. Also, apparently, because the light's behind me, um, my camera has decided that I am not going to be very bright today. <coughs> Sorry about that. When I took up most of the screen, it actually uh, brightened me, but as soon as I sat back, it darkened me up again. It's gonna make it hard for me to make a case about being uh, liquid paper white. Huh. Let's see, ooh, a stone. Wow, it exploded while we were doing our thing. All right, we're up to 90, so we're at 190. We just need 10 more and then we can head back to the homestead. What was that? Oh, it was the chop over there. All right, now we're up to 96, so we just need four more. Man, other people must be only hunting stone because we're seeing a lot of copper. Strange. All right, there's three. We're almost there. That's a copper one. So one of the reasons that we don't take out the copper ones is because one, somebody else might be looking for it. But two, it only usually gives us one stone if we look at the ones that have um, just, like that they have other minerals and they're not just stone. It usually only gives us a very limited amount of that stone that we're looking for. Wow. He just stood there while we blasted him with a magic arrow. I think he accepted his fate at that point. He was like, you know what? Just, just do it. Just take me out. It's fine. Nice. I still don't want the bug. Alright. Yeah, we're not on the right path. That's okay. I was like, oh, we just go up this thing and we'll be at our house. Nope. Nope, nope, it's this way. We gotta go this way for that. We were on the right path, and then we got turned around. Oh, I want one of these. Like a little archway thing. I want one of those. That'd be nice. That'd be a good lead into our, our homestead. I don't know why it didn't zone us. Twice a sun cycle, your shipping bin will be picked up with the mail. Yeah, every 12 hours. I wonder who does our shipping. I mean, I assume it's Zeki, but who does he send to pick it up? Because there's no way that Grimalkin is grabbing all that stuff and hauling it off. There's no way. Hmm. I wonder. Woohoo! 1900. Now, what did we pick up while we were there? A whole lot of nothing. Chop of meat. Um, technically we picked up the garlic, but... I don't really need that. Um, this chop of meat. We'll save the, the star one, just because might as well. Um, we need the stone. I almost sold it. I almost went, oh, we got all the stone. Let's just sell that. No, that's what I'm out there for. That would have been silly of me. Yeah, it only requires two. Okay. Nice. So we'll drop a hundred in there. And we'll drop a hundred in here. And that should make us all the stone bricks we need. In the meantime, we have 41 out of 100 already. It's pretty good. Let's drop off these. Um, we'll keep those on us, but we'll drop off the flint. Wait, how much flint do I have? That's the real question. I have 491 flint. I don't 
think I need that much. But I do need this Azura Chapa tail because that was something that Hacian asked for. So we can give him his Azura Chapa tail. Is my silk done yet? Yes. Excellent. I'm gonna make some more. Um, it requires five per thing, so we'll go ahead and make 20. There we go. Pop that in there. Pop the gold and the polyam and the iron in there. And we'll just pop all the rest of the stuff in here. That, that, that. Nice. Alright, do you need watering? Yes. Okay. Looks like our some of our cotton is done, uh, which is good. But we will need more of it to be ready. We do have the seeds, though, so we could just go ahead and plant them. And we'll just make money as we go along. It'll be okay. Gardening, gardening. It's going to run us out of focus to do all this gardening, but I think it'll be okay. Water the apple tree. Which, that's my biggest thing, is I really need the apple tree to just give me as many apples as possible. So what I should probably do is move the whole thing to where it can get to the, um, the growth boost and the, the harvest boost. Did y'all see that? I wonder if I can move it. I can move it. All right, let's see what happens when I put it on this edge here. It has not gotten any of the boost. I wonder if you can boost. You maybe not, you might not be able to. Oh, there's a weed. Oh no. Weed. I don't know how long these have before they're ready. Um, and I definitely don't know how long the apple tree has till it's ready. But this cotton is ready, and that's the important part. Ooh, I only have seven. Mm, I might have seven that I can... that I can... pick up. Oh! Oh no! I'm out of focus. That's not good. Um, oh! I have a thing that I can eat. Yum. Nice! I thought I was out of edible foods. <laughs> But no, we got lucky. We actually had some that we were uh, set aside, so. Let's do that real quick, and then we will. Till the soil, till the soil. There we go. All right, now we need our, oops. We need our seeds, which is number two. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna sell everything that just came out of the ground. Ordinarily, I would save it so we could do things like... Oh, this isn't water. Interesting. Uh, ordinarily, I would save it so that we could make more seeds out of it, yada yada. But because we have enough seeds going in our seed maker, and we already have a bunch of crops in the ground, uh, we're better off just selling what we pulled out of the ground just now and going from there. Plus, it's about to be time, so... We'll make another 1500 instantly. I like that. Well, not like instantly, instantly, but in a couple of minutes. Plus, we got nine more seeds ready to go, and it's still making some, so it'll be alright. Oh, this one only has a few more minutes left. Not bad. I think these will be done probably the in game equivalent of like 30 minutes from now. Hmm. That jack-o'-lantern looks a little off. No, he's on the center. Hmm. Weird. We do have these candles that I need to put somewhere. I think I'm going to put them up on that shelf. Stick them here. Woohoo! I'm going to put the candles up here. Not that we're going to use them, but they're here for decoration, so, you know. I feel like I feel like we need more stuff there. 
Like maybe another pumpkin patch or something? I don't know. But the important part is we're back up to 4,000, which means we can afford our hallway that was only going to be uh, 31. So that's cool. Uh, it looks like we have, hmm, 150 medals. And it of course it caps at 2,000. But I don't remember what it was that we were trying to get from him. Um, I don't know. But if we use some more fertilizer, of course, we'll get more of the thing. So I'm going to grab this three. I'm going to put another little sweet leaf in here. We're going to use all three of it on this tree right here. Oh, we can't. We need more for that plant. Um, how about this one? Nope. I think we need at least four because it's one for each plot. So we got to wait till it makes more. I'm positive that there is a way for this to make more than three at a time, but I have no idea how to do that. So hopefully I can find a tutorial or something somewhere because I still don't understand how the fertilizer in this game works. I did look it up. I don't get it. Hopefully I will eventually. We do need to look at the, the midnight market before we buy our hallway though. Because it may be a good idea to buy the bathtub slash toilet before. Just so that we know how big they are and we can plan what kind of room size we're going to need. Because the hallway is all well and good, but if we're going to need a whole nother room or multiple hallways, that's where it'll get a little tricky. And I do think it would be a good idea to do multiple hallways instead of just having one. It would be like two and be an actual hallway. But we'll see. We can move our entire bedroom if we want to. Like, we can do whatever we want. I just haven't quite planned it out in my head yet. Oh, I guess we better talk to everybody real quick. Hi, Hecla. I've not yet beaten Anar at cards. You told us this yesterday. I wish I had time to engage in the act of luring fish from the water with a fishing stick. I would love to make Gina a large mouth bass for dinner. But alas, going fishing would mean leaving her side. Oh, initiating goodbye rituals. Always expect the unexpected. Hello, you beautiful illusion. I am not an illusion, Elo Eloisa, please. I was just thinking about cryptids. Which do you want to know more about? The Floth Man? Dawn Stumblers? Creepies? Rascals, tell me about creepies. Creepies only nest in dark places and hate the light. That's what gives them their name. If one ever chases you, be sure to drop a fish you are carrying. Creepies love eating fish. See, I don't have to worry about a creeper blowing up my house. I just feed him a fish, apparently. Have you ever heard the legend of the cantankerous koi? Word on the street is that way back when the human in the human age, an evil witch transformed all the old men of the village into fish. They still inhabit Emerald Lake to this day in the form of a very grumpy-looking koi. I mean to collect all the koi and transform them back into human men. Always keep that beautiful mind free. Maybe You're all right, Eloisa. That sounds like crazy talk. Our newest set of books are on that shelf. Badru stopped by to return books for his wife and invited me to join everyone at the inn for drinks. What did you say? I explained why I couldn't leave my post, so he promised he would bring the party here next time. I sincerely hope he doesn't. Aw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just said, here to distract me from the breakdown I'm about to have. Yes, Gina, I am. Hi. I can't believe you haven't been to the old library yet. What are you waiting for? What? I have. I'm giving you first dibs out of respect, but if you don't go in there soon, I won't be able to resist the urge. We did go in there, didn't we? Maybe we didn't find everything we were supposed to. Mm -hmm. I want to explore further into the Phoenix Shrine, but with the supports I have, I can only go so far. Maybe if I had some flint, I could expand my supports. Do I have any flint on me? Oh, I do. Gina, I will happily give you flint. Glad you stopped by. I was wondering... Who knows? This will help me build the supports for the dig site. Thanks. Absolutely. I will gladly give you... Hello? Oh. I thought she was wearing something else, and I thought maybe they had, like, mixed and matched a couple sets. Which would have been really cool, but they didn't do that. So. Hello. Do do do. What's in here? Hi, Rith. Your eyes are like um, 
Funny seeing you here, or not funny at all since you live here too. I'm not exactly the creative type. Visually, I mean. Nowadays, Tish has got gel if she needs inspiration. But there was one time when she was still an apprentice, I found a jewel-winged dragonfly. I know, I know. Bug catching is an excuse to skip woodworking practice, but hear me out. I brought it home to Tish, and overnight, she turned out like 20 sketches turned out uh, for a new living room set. I felt like a pretty awesome big brother. Flirt. Hey, here to see me or the soup? You? Huh, weird. I actually believe you, which is wild, because today's soup is like really good. Days like this, with a slight chill in the air, I always get a hankering for Pallian onion soup. Next time, I'll come up with something poetic. <laughs> Next time he'll come up with something poetic. Really good to see you. I have a good feeling about today. When Reth and I moved here from the city, I was excited to meet new people and learn new things. At the same time, I was pretty nervous about starting my entire life over. Are you enjoying your new life? I have, even more than I thought I would. And it's all because of you. Me? Yes, you, silly Kitsu. You've made my life here so much fun. I can't thank you enough for that. Aww. Jell mentioned he was starting a new line of hide boots. I'm sure he'd really appreciate it if you brought him some materials. Like Jell would say, Ta -ta. Hmm. What is CC, that? your visit is always a welcome break in the solitude that is my lonely existence. Your best friend is right there. Rude. As much as I love this town, I do wish we had more music festivals. In the bigger cities, you could find a performance almost every night. Although the silence can help for working, it really does dampen the process of ideation. Try passing by the Daya Barn in the evening. The barn? That's not exactly the concert venue I pictured. Well, I do hope Badger doesn't mind. What? He is the concert friend. Have you ever heard of the eyeless minnow? It sounds like quite the fascinating creature. I think we have one. I should like to see one for myself. But do I have anything to give you? No, because we sold all the hide and I forgot. All right, I was hoping. Aha, there is Papa. Hope you're enjoying life in the valley. How would you like to be remembered? Um, as a friend. I should hope for the same. Being a friend can be hard, but it is always worthwhile. I should write an old friend later today. You should. Do I have anything I can give to you? No. Okay. Alright, there goes Shane. Uh, here's Sifu, but where's Halcyon? What can I do for you? Chat. Do you ever look at the stars at night and wonder what they mean? Yes. You're like my wife, then. She was a dreamer, too. She said there were a thousand stories in the stars. And it seemed like she knew most of them. Aww. Kenley has a quest for us? Uh, oh dear. Oh, fiddle and fudge sticks. Cece is just the face I wanted to see. Esha's on the warpath, I tell you. I haven't seen her this upset since my sister called our estate quaint. Okay. Uh, sounds like you need my help. That puppy of Hacien's has been digging holes in our garden. Uh-oh. They're positively everywhere. He even damaged some of our flower beds. I would fix them up myself, you see, but I misplaced my gardening gloves. Uh, you're right. That's an insurmountable obstacle. Now you understand my dilemma. Ah, uh, but yes, that might work. You could fix the flower beds for me. Um, my middle name is Odd Job. Say no more. I don't have gloves either. I don't have gloves either. Oh, that's quite all right. It can be done without them. Now you need to collect these materials and then repair the beds. Come tell me when you're all done. Well then, I've got very important not, uh, meeting that I can't miss. Toodaloo. It is nine in the evening. What meeting could you possibly have? Hmm. And then I have a quest for Hacian. Which is good, because that's who I was looking for, but... What is he doing? What is he doing, Hacian? Whee! Where, where does he go? Oh, he is running back to his home. We gotta catch him. He's walking, so hopefully we will overtake him on the road. But it's entirely possible that he will outpace us and make it across the zone line before we make it to him. Because, oh yeah, he's real close to the exit and we are not. Um, Hacian Tao is digging stuff up. We have much to discuss. What is it you need? Since you're here, I may as well help you out. Tao destroyed the marriage garden. He dug a few holes. I would not call that destroyed. Still, I will not have it said my partner runs amok. Here. These should help repair the damage. Thanks. So bad. I also, I was going to give you this gift. 
He'll love me if I give him an Azura Chapatail. Surprisingly useful. I appreciate the thought. What? You asked for it. He just likes it when I kill Chapas. That's all that is. Alright, so he's still in the 3 range. Uh, Ashura is getting closer to level 4, so that's cool. Fatherly friend. Yeah. Um, Who did we not talk to today? Like, everybody. We didn't talk to Hodari today. Darn. Um, interesting. So, to do Tao's level 2 quest, we had to get it from somebody else. Which kind of makes sense, because he's a dog and he can't really give us a quest. But, interesting. Oh, apparently talking to Hacien was optional, and then he'll just give us the ceramic. But now I need to sun drop lilies, which, you know, they're kind of around. I probably have some in our home storage, but I'd rather pick fresh ones just because we'll be out and about anyway. Though I kind of expected them to be a little bit more out and about. <laughs> um, that'll be alright. I'm sure we'll find five in no time. We'll find bugs, too. Hmm. Unless somebody came through and picked them all. Which is possible, I guess. The... Mm, the thing is that the sundrop lilies aren't really useful for much. Unless it's for a quest like this. So I can't imagine somebody coming through and just, like, taking all of them. But, I mean, it is possible. Well, we're right on time for the night market, so we might as well head in here. Ooh, maybe we'll finally get farther in that little shooty game. That would be fun. I'm gonna grab this lotus real quick. Boop. And then in we go. To the sewers! I'm so glad that they updated this area, because it looks phenomenal now like it looked okay before like it made sense but now it looks great and i love it so much nice and of course people are coming in this way because they can what do we got we have a ravenwood folding screen we have a bellflower toilet should probably just buy that a ravenwood bathtub um, a makeshift frame, quaint painting. Aw, that is really cute. Yep, I need the toilet, so we're gonna go ahead and buy it. Uh, bye. And I don't think, yeah, I don't have enough money for the bathtub, so we won't pick that up. And unfortunately, I don't have any lucky coins, no lucky boxes for us. Um, interesting. Doesn't look like Reth is here yet. And there's these. I was trying to explore a little bit. Oh well. We bought the toilet. That was the important part. But it does mean... Yeah, I'll talk to Zeki real fast. If it isn't Killerman's newest entrepreneur. You think this place is nice? You ought to check out the underground in Bahari City. That place is a party 24 cycles a day. Running low on silk. Del keeps clearing me out. Who's he clothing? The whole Aquindu royal family? Maybe. Or maybe he's just helping Tish. I gotta get back to my... things. It's not suspicious. What are you talking about? Alright. This will take us back to the city. So we use the shortcut. So it'll be closer to our homes. Hey. Deluxe backpack for 50000 Oh. Oh, I wish. All right, odd that we couldn't find a singular sundrop lily. Now, we have a couple of options. We could, of course, request it from other people. We could go see if we have any in our home storage. We could run up into the hills and look there. Like, there's a lot of options that we can pursue. I think what we're going to do is we're going to head to this area up here, the mirror fields, because that is where I usually see them. And then if we can't find five, we'll just grab the rest from our home storage. We can't find any, you know, we might have to put them on a request, just to see. Like I said, it's a bit odd that there are none, because there's usually like an abundance. When we came through earlier, there were probably five or six we could have picked that we didn't. Um, 
Which is why I say that it's a little weird that we haven't seen any. So, maybe somebody really needed sundrop lilies. Maybe they were making uh, stuff. Well, we found spice sprouts. I guess we'll grab those. Not that we need them, but might as well. Can always sell them. That's the other thing. Maybe somebody grabbed a bunch of them just so they could sell them. Which I don't blame them. I'm just surprised. Hmm. That didn't look like a flow tree, but I will not judge. Mm hmm. Still not seeing any. That is very strange. Like, there's normally at least one. And so far we've found zero. Maybe somebody did come through and clear it out. I don't even see any over here. Oh, there's something. Spice sprouts and garlic, but no sundrop lilies. How odd. That is really, really weird. I'm not sure how to feel about it. Okay, well, we'll just head back to our home and grab them out of our storage and go from there. Because <laughs> I'm sure we have some. With luck, we'll have more than five. I'm sure we have plenty that we can uh, we can do. Sorry, I was adjusting my legs. Oh, excuse me. I did not have enough coffee. All right, flowers. We have 30. Yeah, I think we can spare five. <laughs> what's his name uh, we also have some green pearls which we only needed one of for the phoenix wall so I'm actually going to I'm gonna sell some of our stuff basically um, like I don't need this many weeds so we'll do two stacks of weeds which is 30 a piece alright um, we can do some shells why not Alright, it's about half. Half of those. Uh, we sold some of these already. I'm gonna sell some mushrooms. <laughs> it sounds like mushrooms. Um, I don't really need the briar daisies, but keep them just in case. Oh! Thank you! Welcome in! We are trying to get to 200 because I've promised that we're going to uh, play a horror game. So, you know, it'll be fine. I promise that we'll do that. Um, not looking forward to it, but I did promise it, so I kind of have to do it. I'm going to sell a couple Dari Globes. I think it'll be okay. Sell a couple of Coral. They're actually worth a pretty decent amount. Um, these aren't really worth as much, but we'll sell a couple of those too. Let's see. I'm keeping that fish, but I could sell some of these other ones. No, because I need them for... I guess I need them for cooking. Mm, let's see. <laughs> One fine arrow. I don't know where it is in our inventory, but it's somewhere. Can I sell these? Oh, they can't be sold. Can't be sold. Why can't any of this stuff be sold? That can be sold, but I want to keep it in case we need it. Dragon fireworks can be sold. Uh, the glowworms can be sold. Hunter's Horn can be sold. The Phoenix cannot. Uh, orange Crackling, Purple Crackling. No, I don't really want to sell those because we do kind of need them a little bit. But I don't think we've got anything of importance. I mean, I've got this one shell. So that'll make us another 1900, which will put us back at what we're looking at. Or what we're looking at, what we're looking for. Uh, because we did want to get back up to 31 so we could buy our hallway. So. Nice! <laughs> Let's see how many of the... these have, have been made. Alright, so we've made 19 of that one. And 19 of that one. I think that's almost how much we needed. We've got 38 and... 41. Okay. 
So we're looking at almost 100. We didn't need to get them out. I don't know why I did. But, you know, it's fine. I'm kind of surprised that it needs 100. You know what I mean? Like we've got 79, um, but it needs 100. So we need another, like, 20. 21, actually, specifically. But it's fine. And I have six more. So we'll just shove those in there. So it'll make everything else we need. Grab that one. And then this one is just a couple seconds behind. So as one finishes, the other one will also finish, which isn't bad. All right, let's see. So it takes about a minute and 18, so about a minute and 20 seconds uh, to make each one. So it would be another, I don't know, probably about 30 minutes or so to be able to get those. So that's not too bad. These are ready, but the crops that they're attached to are not. I'll leave them alone. Okay, what else, what else, what else? I don't think the one floating candle out here works. I think I'm gonna put it back in the house. Have it be like when you open the door, it greets you kind of thing. Here we go. Maybe I'll just position it around the room. I kind of wish it floated a little higher. You know what I mean? It's almost like it's too low. Interesting. I cannot place it. Wait, okay, hang on. So if it's not floating above the stool, it's about there. We'll do it like this. And then if I put it on the stool, it's much higher? Huh. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with that. I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, what else am I gonna do? I wish I could change my door. I don't like the door. I want it to be different. All right. So it's 3 a.m. in game, which means we've got another 10 minutes or so. And everybody's starting to wake up. So let's see if we can at least go talk to the Deas and try to get their friendship up a little bit. Uh, I don't know what time Anar wakes up, because he's the one that we're kind of focusing on, other than Hodari, obviously, so that we can start romancing him. But we're focusing on Anar because he is the one that has a fish recipe. Or at least some sort of recipe that we need. So. It says repair the flower beds. Does that mean like at their estate? Oh, it does. Okay. Maybe we should just go do that quest. That'll give us something to do till everybody wakes up and our stuff is done. I don't think the rest of our crops are going to grow in time. Um, I was kind of hoping that we would be able to, to grow and sell them. But I forgot that we hadn't planted any before we stopped last time, so that's on me. And I haven't played it without you all, so that's also on me. <laughs> Alright, let's head up here. Hi, Kenyatta. You're coming home at 3 a.m.? Tell me something, anything. It's nice to be outside, you know? Sometimes I forget how interesting the world is. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw a gnarly-looking beetle over there. If you get any crown horn surnuck antlers, I'm looking for some. They make awesome jewelry and decor. Uh, those are kind of rich for my taste, dear. Alright. I bet it's gonna be something like, oh, he was digging in the beds because there was like a choppa or something. Alright. Hmm. I don't think I've actually been in their house. They have a fancy dining room with the same picture. Hmm. I guess when you're rich, you can afford the same picture over and over again. I think this is all the bellflower furniture. I think if I had been in their house before, I probably wouldn't have been so fixated on trying to build the bellflower bed for our house. Because, oh. Now, is that the Bellflower Fountain? Because that I'm into. This is very nice. I wish I could put down flower beds. Why can't we make flower beds? Oh, good morning, Kinley. Nice to see you out enjoying life in Kilima. I repaired the garden and saved me from certain anguish. If we're lucky, Esha didn't notice anything was amiss. Here, I'm sure that was all hungry work. 
Oh, I nearly forgot. I noticed Tao heading towards your plot. You better go make sure he's not aiming through your garden next. I was enjoying my usual breakfast of a poached pecky egg, and I was thinking. I owe this all to Cece. If it weren't for them, the Diaz would have been kicked out by now. And then where would I have gotten my eggs? You're right. My luck is so bad lately, I don't think just any choppa tail will do. Only a striped one could dispel all the bad energy in my These office. Of ours always cheer me up. Wow. Too bad I already used my home teleport. This stuff is really nice. Alright, let's look upstairs. There's Esha's room. I'm sure she won't let us in there. Can we go? Oh, we can go in Kenyatta's room. Hi, Kenyatta. I'm looking at all your stuff. Not the color scheme I would have expected, but um, it is nice. I do like this blue. She's got a little desk. She's got all kinds of stuff in here. I know, we're just poking around her room, but she doesn't have a bathroom in here. Maybe that's what this door is for? So that she can have a, an ensuite bathroom? I don't know. Speaking of ensuite bathrooms, we need to build ours. We need a key from Esha. I know. We need to up our friendship with Esha. This fountain is really nice. I hope that's the fountain that we're about to build. Hmm. I wonder what those are. Alright, look for Tau on your plot. There it is. I was looking for the fast travel stables because we already used our our free teleport for the half hour. So I figured we would just use one of those. Try adding bait to see what you can catch. Hi, Tau. Hi, boy. A small package. He drops it at your feet and waits expectantly for you to open it. Open Tao's present. Okay. Oh, purple spinning firework. Where did you get these? Uh, this is awesome. <laughs> he licks your palm, then trots away looking proud of himself. Oh, you should be proud of yourself, buddy. He just said, sorry, I can't chat right now. Uh, can you secretly talk? What is happening? That was a fun glitch. Um, we have so much flint. Why do we have so much flint? I'm gonna sell all this flint. We don't need this much flint. Flint. Nice. How much more flint do I have? I have another 400. If we sell all of it, we'll make a thousand dollars. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna put two stacks. It'll be okay. And then we'll get three. We'll get a hundred if we sell a stack of this, and we'll get a hundred if we sell a stack of that. But we'll keep those for now. Um, there's the elder. I got. So she wants this one. Uh, Kenyatta, when she was asking for antlers, she was asking for this one, which only comes from the magical deer. So we are not going to let her have that. Unfortunately, those are a little too hard to find. Otherwise, we would. So. Hmm. I wonder. I like having the hallway to separate this from this. Um, like when we added the large room, we just kept this doorway so that we could uh, just walk on through. Um, but I wonder if we can adjust the doorway. Um, I cannot adjust the doorway. Why not? That's very odd. I thought we could adjust the doorway size, but we can't. I wanted it to be, a, like, a little bit smaller. But... Also, we haven't really decorated in here. Which is kind of sad. Let's see what wallpapers we have. We probably don't, but that's not important. Let's see. Floor, 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 uh, floor. Nice, we got our money. Uh, banner. Okay, kind of thought we had some wallpaper. We have swirl tile, swirl tile. 
We have these. Floor. We have the starry night, the starry evening, the spooky pumpkin, uh, and like wood paneling. That's about it. So we're definitely going to need some more wallpapers for inside our house. But first, hallway. Now, I don't know if you can build a hallway off a hallway. If you can, great, we'll put it there. If not, um, I don't know what we'll do with the hallway. Because we can't sell it back, I don't think. So once we buy it, we're stuck with it. we got to find something to do with it. What we'll probably end up doing is building an extra like hallway off of our living room, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, I should have watered our crops. Hmm. We'll do that when we get back with the hallway. What is that sound? Hallway. Crafting license. And put down another crafter. But no. Hallway. So, we are going to need to save up even more to actually be able to use this hallway and put a room attached to it. But, if we're able to put a hallway on a hallway, what we'll do is we'll put a couple of hallways down and then have another room. And if we can't, then we'll just move it to a different part of the house. And we'll just have the bathroom be just an attached room. Probably a small room, but... Well, I guess we could have another hallway come off the bedroom and have that lead into the bathroom, but that way we kind of avoid that big archway. But I don't know. I don't know how big our bathroom should be. I guess it'll depend on how big the bathtub ends up being and things like that. So I'm doubly sad that we can't like do anything to our house only because like, why am I watering this puddle again? I would love to be able to paint our house. Like, in time for spooky decorations and stuff. I need to put some of our um, decor out. Like, maybe the the um, like the choppa standees and stuff will be, like, our spooky yard stuff. On the plus side, all of the wheat seems to be growing at a good pace. So, you know, that's cool. Nice. Watering nine plots at once. Not at the same speed, mind you, but it is a good start. Nice. Let's water these so I don't forget to do it. Because I will forget if I don't come over here and do it instantly. Wow. The whole tree shimmered. That was cool. Wait, that one's harvestable. Oh, two of our blueberry bushes are harvestable. We have blueberries. That's exciting. That's really exciting. I'm sorry. It shouldn't be that exciting, but it is. We have 18 blueberries now. We can blueberry it up. Nice. All right. Do I have... Okay, I've only got three in my pocket, which means I definitely need to grab these ones. Um, just so we can take out this row here. <laughs> and this one. And then replant them. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I can't reach that far. Boop, 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 boop. And then bloop, bloop, bloop. Nice. Then we water them. Oh. I thought I was getting four, um, but I, I wasn't. The most you can water at one time is nine. Um, it's just varying speeds. So if we were to upgrade our watering can even more, we would just water nine plots faster. So. Okay. So since we've grabbed stuff off of here, we do have to deposit some. Uh, so it makes four, so that's eight. Uh, 1632, I think? No, it's probably only 24. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just sell the other 15. And these four regulars. 
Um, hmm. One, two, three. One, two. So we're gonna sell a couple of regular blueberries and that brings our total to almost a thousand dollars. That's crazy to me. Like we, we did wait a while to get those blueberries, but it was crazy. Like, oh man. Plus we still have one more that hasn't finished growing yet. So let's refill this real quick. Delicious. All right, so let's try our hallway section. So we need to hit H for home. And then we have a hallway section that it's gonna take eight hours to build. We cannot attach it to the hallway. Okay, so we can attach it to our bedroom, which will allow us to um, build the bathroom off of a hallway section, or we can attach it to our kitchen and or the living room and build something off of each, each of those. So the other option is to move our bedroom one over and put the hallway in between. I don't think the game will let us do that, but we could try. Um, and then, hmm, I'm not sure. I think we should use the hallway section off the bedroom, but I think there's stuff on that wall. So I want to go in and move it. Cause it's gonna go right where the, the window is basically. And it's gonna produce a hallway. And I think if we do a room, it will also produce a doorway like this rather than being like a closed door. So I don't think I can put, I don't think I put, can put curtains on that either, which would be ideal. We'd be able to put curtains over it so that we can pretend that we can close the curtains, but I don't know. All right. I think our bed is gonna end up getting affected. So we're gonna have to move the bed, unfortunately. Um, we'll just swap it and put it on this wall, but I like how it moves all of the chapas together too. That's pretty nice. All right, we're rearranging the bedroom. Okay, this needs to stay by the bed. This is going to go under this window. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Perfect. You can move. Um, I'm gonna put the wardrobe on this side, maybe? Mm, where was it before? Oh, I guess it was a gap over. And then our cabinet, and then our bookshelf. There, okay. Um, the dress form needs to move, excuse me. All right, so we're gonna put the dress form over here, like we had it before, it was next to this thing. Uh, but we're gonna put it more in the corner like this. And then I'm actually gonna put this next to it. Like it leads into the bathroom almost, you know? Mm, that's not very tilted. That's a little better, okay. This chair will go somewhere at some point. So the bed is gonna go facing a different way than before. Just, you know, by the window. Something's in the way. It's my character. My character's in the way. It's fine. We're blocking a window. It's okay. I wanna put curtains on the window, but we'll worry about that later. Um, put the chair somewhere. And this is supposed to go at the foot of the bed, but like, we put the chair, or we put the bed against the window now. Now we don't have enough space. Special trunk, we'll just go, um, the trunk can go under the mirror, it's okay. That's fine, our trophies need to move. Uh, we'll put them here. Uh, we'll put the chair over here just because this is where the bookshelf is. I'd like to find actual books to put on the bookshelf. That would be pretty cool, but I don't know if the game's going to let us. So, all right, we've cleared off that wall most of the way. Boop. Now we have a room, a room coming. 
Once we build it, this will, like, devise a hole in the wall, basically. All right. So it's going to take not too much stuff. Uh, it does take some sapwood planks, uh, and it does take some stone bricks, which is the other reason that we needed to make a bunch of stone bricks. Hydrate. Okay. Thanks for the hydration. Also, welcome in, Ronnie. We were finishing up the last of our set tasks for the day. So you caught us at the very end. Good job. What are you up to today? Do you have any things coming up that you want to talk about? Are you going to participate in Blind Gamers Awareness next weekend? Like us. You're just chilling? Nice. Yeah, we made it to a thousand. We have a toilet, but we have nowhere to put it. Because we need to build this hallway section. Unfortunately, the hallway is going to take eight hours, which is why I'm not like, oh, well, we'll just keep playing. No, that's going to take eight hours. That's a long time. You're doing your stack up stream on Wednesday. I don't know what stack up is. I will have to look that up. Man, I need more stuff. Now, our character is making that weird noise because it's still making the the tilling noise from the the garden so we'll have to do something about that mm, i'm gonna move this i'm gonna put it next to the bed instead of under the mirror there, that's a little better and then we just come over to the mirror and we look in the mirror technically we have to uh look at the camera for the mirror to see us but it's fine nope um how do i flip it around again Fire. Oh, there it is. Whoops, that's not the button I was looking for. I was looking for this one! Do, 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 do. Zoom, 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 zoom. I hope that turn off symbol goes away. Hmm. It's still not showing off all my plushies. Excuse me, I'm trying to get a picture with my plushies all in frame. Technically, I can, like, jump and move around, so it's not a big deal. But, like, I need it to really do what it's supposed to do. Alright, that's the one I wanted to save. I didn't want to save the first one. These are ones that we've already saved, but that's not what I was looking for. Save to album. Ta-da! So we'll be able to share that later. Uh, you have three overnight slots on 12 days of indie. Oh my god, that is so much. You have so much going on. Amazing. All right. It's a little creepy in here. I should have done that in the outdoors where it's less creepy. Not by much, but it is a little less creepy. I don't think our settings are up very high. That's odd. I thought I had our graphics quality. No, they are. Huh. Everything is set to a thousand. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, I think that's actually going to do it for me. Thank you for tuning in at the very end, Ronnie. Sorry that you missed the stream. Um... I do need to get going and do some more stuff. I know that I said I had to leave early and then I didn't, um, but I do actually have to get some stuff done. So thank you everybody so much for tuning in. I hope you have a restful, relaxing rest of your day. I hope you get a snack if you need it, like I'm about to devour this other cinnamon roll. And remember to hydrate because it's good for your brain and your body. So we will be back on Tuesday. We will not be back on Thursday. Unfortunately, I do have to work late that day. So I will be missing out on the stream on Thursday uh, and I'll be putting up alerts and reminders on both Twitter and Discord just to kind of update the schedule for next week. Um, and then next Saturday, hopefully we will be finishing the final game in the Ace Attorney series, uh, or in the second, um, sorry, the final case in the second game of the Ace Attorney series. Because uh, we haven't quite started game three, which was my favorite, if I remember correctly. 
Um, but I don't remember everything about it. That's the problem. I remember the overarching. I just don't remember all the little details. So I'm looking forward to that one, but I don't know. I think it'll be fun. So we'll hopefully be playing more of that, uh, and we will return to the Chilltown Alpha next Sunday. So we'll be playing it then so that we can kind of see more about how that game's working. And, you know, since it was just on demo for Steam Fest, you'll be able to see a little bit extra since we're playing the alpha version and not the actual uh, Steam version. Plus, uh, we can try to break the game, which is always fun. So once again, thank you everybody so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye!